with your hosts, Bob Kessling, Bert Bertelkamp, and John Wilkerson. Sponsored by Food City, the official supermarket of the Vols. By Farm Bureau Health Plans, protecting Tennesseans since 1947. By the Tennessee Education Lottery, proud to have raised more than $7 billion to support education programs in Tennessee. By Eastman, reminding you that good sports always give back. And by Farm Bureau Insurance. Our agents are there when you need them. We're Tennessee's insurance company and the official insurance of the Vols. Back in 30 seconds. Tennessee basketball is brought to you by the Rusty Wallace family of dealerships. Hyundai, Kia, Nissan, Ford, Honda, Chevrolet, and Toyota. In Richmond Federal Credit Union. Your volunteer Buick GMC dealers. Visit My Smokies. Swaggerty's Farm Sausage, Union Place Bar and Grill, the Tennessee Highway Safety Office, East Tennessee Children's Hospital, Lazy Days RV, and Professional Jewelers. Good morning, everyone, from Nashville, as today the SEC Basketball Tournament enters the quarterfinal round. As the Tennessee Volunteers enter the tournament, today is they'll go up against the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Tennessee, the number one seeds. The other number one seeds who have all uh, gotten a double bye. Those will be Auburn, Kentucky, and Alabama. They'll be playing later on. But Tennessee tips off the first of four today here at Bridgestone Arena. Bob Kessling and Burt Camp with you. Burt, great to be back to the SEC tournament. Tennessee won it a couple of years ago. They want to win it again this year. Oh, yeah, it'd be great, Bob. We'd be the first team in Tennessee history to win the regular season and the tournament. So that'd be quite an accomplishment. These guys are playing with a lot of confidence. I don't think the Kentucky game was that big of a deal. I mean, they wanted to win it, obviously. But I don't think it's going to do anything to slow down their momentum. But they need to start out well in the postseason. And that starts today against the Mississippi State team that beat Tennessee back in Starkville. Back in January 10th, that's a long time ago, but they they got a physical team. They get the ball inside. They're athletic, and they're strong, and they're a veteran team. They got Tolu Smith inside. He gave us a hard time down in uh, Starkville. He got the ball in deep and went to work. He's a heck of a player. Josh Hubbard is also a really good freshman. High scoring player, averages over 16 a game, and he got to control him at the three point line. Yeah, Hubbard had a good game against Tennessee down in Starkville. Second half, he carried him. He had 25 points in that game, and he also had a terrific game uh, yesterday against LSU here as he scored 24 points, leading Mississippi State. State had an interesting season. They got up to kind of a slow start. Then they built some momentum. They were 8-6, and six, and everybody thought they were a lock for the NCAA tournament. Then they lost four in a row, and they bounced back to beat LSU. So you wonder where their mindset is. But you know they're hungry, and they know they got to win to make sure they get in. Yeah, they know win, winning against Tennessee is a big, big feather in their cap. They're highly motivated, probably more so than our team. Our team's motivated to win for sure, but the state's got a lot to play for today. Well, Tennessee enters the tournament, too, with a big bullseye on their back because the fact they're the regular season yeah. champions. they got the player of the year and uh, so it's been a great year for Tennessee but as you advance in these tournaments the pressure starts to mount some. Yeah it does and you saw a lot of upset yesterday in the first round of some tournaments. Teams that were predicted to be really good got beat. That can happen to you if you get if you get in a funk. They've won 20 games and they, they're a good team so we got to play our best. So Tennessee enters the game today 24-7 and 14-4 and in SEC play. Mississippi State with the win yesterday gets to 20 wins. They're 20-12 and 8-10 in the SEC during the regular season. It's the rematch between Tennessee and Mississippi State today here in Nashville at the SEC quarterfinals. We'll continue with more in a moment. This is Tennessee Basketball on the Ball Network. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota like the powerful new Tundra 4x4 with the best resale value in its class. Now through April 1st, get APR financing as low as 2.25% on a new 24 Tundra. Up to $1,500 customer cash depending on model. Or you can get a great lease deal with approved credit through TFS. Plus get two years no cost maintenance. Get details at Toyota.com. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. When cancer enters your world, chaos likes to follow. But at Covenant Health, you're partnered with a nurse navigator, your champion and compass through the fog. More than just a nurse, they're your unwavering cheerleader. Because when you're giving 100%, it's nice to know that your team is too. With cancer, it can be hard work getting well. 
but it should never be hard work getting care. Covenant Health Cancer Care. Let our strength be yours. There are trucks. Then there's the truck. GMC Sierra. With available features like the V8 engine. The ultimate luxury interior. And of course, the available world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate. GMC Sierra. Not just any truck. The truck. GMC's continued commitment to professional-grade engineering is on full display at your East Tennessee GMC dealer. Come take a test drive today and see for yourself. We are professional-grade GMC. Really shame on Scott Hi, we're Old Dominion. On your flagship station for the Vols. 107.7 WIBK. Tennessee and Mississippi State today here in the SEC Tournament in Nashville. The Volunteers and the Bulldogs met down in Starkville. I was back on January the 10th. Mississippi State won that game 77-72. Tennessee leads the all-time series with the Bulldogs 90-45. to North Tennessee comes into the tournament. We mentioned a moment ago, got the target on their back. Dalton Connect has a bigger target. In fact, uh, he's been named All-American SEC Player of the Year. He's a marked man, but he's reacted and responded to all the challenges so far. You would expect him to take on these challenges as well. Yeah, I think so, Bob. He's been focused, and the, the attention that he's gotten from Tennessee people and then the people all over the country has been amazing, but he never blinks. He just keeps working and playing hard. He's he's born to be a basketball player, and he's had a phenomenal season. He's been the biggest surprise in the whole country, without a doubt. I don't think there's any question about that, and uh, Tennessee comes into the tournament burden in the postseason really with a, a, a lineup you would like. They've got good guards. You've got to have that in the tournament. They've now got inside scoring with Jonas Adu, who has made several of these uh, postseason all-star teams. And they got a go-to guy. Those are three key elements you got to have. And experience. Yeah, that's and another one. Having a go-to guy is huge for Tennessee because in the past, we always had great defense. It was consistent. We rebounded the ball. We played hard. But we'd have scoring droughts. This year, when we have one of those, we got a man to go to. They can get his own shot anytime. And when he gets double teamed, there's other people open. He's been great with keeping his head up and hitting the right guys. But offensively, we're a different team than we've been in the past. That's true. With the go to guy, it changes a lot of things. Connect averaging 25.5 points in the SEC games this year. And of course, the uh, unanimous, basically, SEC player of the year. And he'll be looked uh, forward to carry the Tennessee team in the postseason, which starts today here in Nashville as the Volunteers go up against Mississippi State. What else is going on in the tournaments around the country? To give you an update, let's go back to the Big Orange scoreboard and your host, John Wilkerson. All right, Bob, thank you very much. Championship week continues across the country. We've had several teams that have already punched their ticket to the field of 68 over the last week or so. But Tennessee's bingo card is nearly blacked out. The Big Orange has beaten 12 of their 13 opponents around the Southeastern Conference. The Volunteers beat Texas A&M in Knoxville after falling in College Station. They return the favor against South Carolina following the Gamecocks win in Knoxville. And today, reaching back to the second game on the conference schedule and their first league loss, it's round two for UT against Mississippi State. The Bulldogs are coming off a solid win against LSU yesterday and can compete with anyone. State coach Chris Jan says today's challenge is big, but also expects a good, hard game. They're obviously, you know, they won the league. You can't argue that you know they're the best team in over a, a 18 uh, game schedule, which to me you know means more than anything in my opinion to do it like that, especially in a league like this. We've got great respect for Coach Barnes and his staff and their players, and you know it'll be it'll be intense. You know they play a, a hard nosed style, and we're we're trying to play you know similar style style, and I think it'll be an intense basketball game to say the least. At First Horizon. We know convenience has never been more important to Vol fans. With mobile banking from First Horizon, your bank is as close as your mobile phone, and you'll find everything you need to take care of your financial life. Whether it's in the middle of a Tennessee game or while spending time with the family, mobile banking has never been easier or more convenient. It's just another way. First Horizon has your back. First Horizon, proud to be the official bank of the Vols. 
Light. Enjoy the world's most refreshing beer, Coors Light, all season long. Whether you're at Thompson Bowling Arena or hooping it up from home, crack open an ice-cold Coors Light, the official beer of enjoying college basketball wherever you are. When things heat up on the court, Coors Light is there to cool things down because it's made to chill. This season, reach for the beer that supports the balls. Mountain Cold Refreshment. Coors Light, proud sponsor of the Tennessee Volunteers. Celebrate responsibly. 21 means 21. This is the Vol Network. And this is the Tennessee Tip-Off Show. I'm John Wilkerson. Game two today pits the five-seed South Carolina against the four-seed Auburn. Officially, today is the quarterfinals for the Gamecocks. It is also a redemption round. In the first ever meeting between Carolina and the Tigers, where both teams were ranked, Auburn ran them off the plains to the tune of 101 to 61. After eliminating Arkansas yesterday, Gamecocks coach Lamont Paris says his team needs to eliminate all the mistakes from the first meeting and rely on what has been a winning formula this season for South Carolina. There's nothing I'm going to do. There aren't enough fixes to not lose by 40, to go from losing by 40 to winning the game. There aren't that many things. So we we got to do what we normally do, play our way, defend at a high level, finish plays off with a rebound, um, and then be aggressive on the offensive end. You know, uh, that Hopefully we'll just play better, and, and to some degree, hopefully they won't shoot the ball like that. It's the Volunteers and the Bulldogs at Bridgestone Arena. It's time for today's Vol in the Spotlight, presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans, protecting Tennesseans since 1947. Vince Ferrara standing by now with J.P. Estrella, UT's freshman forward from Scarborough, Maine. Guy that you go up against and play with, and Jonas Adu, second team, SEC, AP, first team. Tell me about Jonas Adu and being part of that all-defensive team as well. I mean, it shows every single day in practice. I have to deal with it every single day in practice, and I see it 100%. I mean, he's such a talented big guy i go up against him every day and i i see what most people don't see except on the court but on the court he tears it up too he's a monster the sec player of the year in dalton connect tell me about the dalton connect experience for you just witnessing what he does on a daily basis is i think is amazing i mean what we see out there on the court and we'll sit there and watch him just be like yeah this is is not human. We sometimes just question if he is human or not. Coach Barnes wants him to try to get more guys involved. That's such a, a tough balance because he can do so much for you guys. Is there that emphasis on not watching him and making it all work together? I mean, yeah, we always all play as a team. I mean, there's just times when you know when we need to get a bucket, you know, one person that we can go, get to. DK and I mean this whole team just plays so well together and we all just you know fit each other in so many different ways and that's just makes it such a strong team. Tell me about your prep for the SEC tournament. You guys got Mississippi State here in the quarterfinals of the SEC tournament. Tell me about the Bulldogs, who you guys obviously faced and lost to earlier this year. We're getting ready for it. I mean, we got Mississippi State. We're going to be we're going to be excited for that one because of what happened at their place. Excited to be a part of. Appreciate it. Good luck, and we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for the time. Yes, sir. Thank you. That is Tennessee refreshment forward J.P. Estrella. John, back to you. And that is the Vol Network's Vince Ferrara, and this is the Tennessee Tip-Off Show, a part of Big Orange Basketball as you listen to the Vol Radio Network. Hey folks, it's Greg at Rusty Wallace Ford, and I've got some big news for you. We're having our winter savings sale, and we've got a great selection of new Fords and some of our best deals ever. Choose from our most popular models, like Ford Explorer, Escape, Bronco Sport, and America's best-selling truck, Ford F-150, all with 2.9% financing for 72 months. And every new Ford comes with Rusty's exclusive 200,000-mile warranty. Hurry out today. Rusty Wallace Ford in Dandridge. You'll drive home happy. Where you put your money matters. For over 70 years, Enrichment Federal Credit Union has been there for you in all stages of life. With an eSpend checking account, not only do you earn interest and cash back rewards on debit and credit cards, but we protect your identity, monitor your credit, and even insure your cell phone. That's right. Receive up to $400 for replacement or repair costs if your phone is stolen or damaged. Start investing in yourself today at Enrichment Federal Credit Union. Member NCUA. Hey friends, it's Cougar from Rusty Wallace Nissan. It's March, so let the madness begin. You won't get your bracket busted when you score one of these deals. 2023 Rogues from $24.9 or just $3.59 a month. 23 Kicks versus or Centris, you pick from this $19.9 or $2.49 a month. And we made a special purchase of 23 Armadas and Pathfinders at $10,000 off original new MSRP. So come on over to Clinton Highway or shop in those big orange basketball socks at Rusty Wallace Nissan. Dot com. Tell Alexa to play.
play 107.7 WIVK. It's Tennessee and Mississippi State today in Nashville. It is the 136th meeting between the two schools. Tennessee leads the all-time series 90 wins to 45. As far as neutral sides, Tennessee is 10-4 and four against the Bulldogs, 10-3 and three against Mississippi State in SEC tournament games. Tennessee's 10 wins against the Bulldogs are its most wins against any common opponent in the SEC tournament. Bulldogs won the last one, 77-72, so Tennessee hopes to bounce back and get the split today. Let's get the last word courtside from Tennessee coach Rick Barnes, brought to you by First Horizon. Coach, special time of the year, postseason's here, now you got a chance to win an SEC tournament. Well, it is a, a really special time. You know, it's, uh, again, it's hard to believe that the year, it seems like so, sometimes so long and other times so short, but... Uh, SEC has been a great league, the best league in college basketball this year, and obviously getting ready to play Mississippi State. Uh, I mean, they they got us pretty good down there. Remember, they really went at us inside, and uh, Tillo Smith had his way with us, and we're going to have to do a lot better job today. Well, how do you change with Tillo Smith to make sure he doesn't get as many points as he had down there? Well, we're going to we, we've got some different ways, schemes, you know, where we can double and th- those type things, but still we. We like to think we're good enough to play him head up. He had, that's the first time he'd ever hurt us as badly as he did there. But you just can't let him get his space and back you down like he did. And uh, we just got to do a, a better job. But they're, they're so much better than they were then. You know, Hubbard's playing really well. Matthews is a guy that creates problems because he just plays so hard. And it's going it's a real test for everybody this time of year, and that's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, Hubbard's a dynamic scorer, isn't he? He is, and he can, uh, he's got such a good jump shot that you know he can get up high, he elevates, really a lot of strength in his lower body, and so we've got to give him a lot of attention too. Well, this Mississippi State team coming into the tournament, they lost four in a row, but they played really well against LSU, so they're fighting for their lives out here. Yeah, again, I'm... Uh, Again, they've got to be in the tournament already. I just, but again, I'm sure he's telling them that hey, we need to make sure, leave no doubt about it. So we expect to get their very best today, and at this time of year, you expect to get that from everybody. Today, Tennessee plays in the SEC tournament against Mississippi State. Across the University of Tennessee system, we focus on making sure a UT degree is accessible and affordable. I'm Randy Boyd, president of the UT system, inviting you to learn more about UT's five campuses, our new guaranteed early admission standards, and scholarships like UT Promise, which enable 48% of UT students to graduate debt-free. In East, Middle, and West Tennessee, everywhere you look, you'll find opportunity at UT. Learn more at Tennessee.edu. The Vol Radio Network takes a lot of pride in bringing the big orange into homes clear across Tennessee. And just like us, Delta Dental offers an extensive network in the volunteer state. Their network of dentists offer plans covering 100% of your preventive care, like exams and cleanings. And on top of dental plans, Delta Dental now puts the C in Tennessee with Delta Vision. Find out more at deltadentaltn.com. We're back with Tennessee basketball coach Rick Barnes before the Volunteers open SEC play today against Mississippi State. Your preparation this week, you've had a couple of days to really kind of regroup a little bit and then get ready to practice and get focused on Mississippi State. Yeah, we have. You know, we, we uh, took Sunday off, did a little bit individually Monday, then took Tuesday off, then came back and had a good workout uh, on uh, Wednesday before we left and then had a quick short one yesterday and just wanted to try to stay in as much rhythm as we possibly can heading into this tournament hoping you're going to get to play three days. And your team is healthy, and that's one thing that's been a key. You've had four guys start every single game this year. That's pretty that's pretty rare anymore. Well, I hope we can stay keep healthy from here until the end of next week. And, uh, I, again, this time of year, players love it because it's about playing games, and that's what they like to do. And I just hope that we uh, can have everybody at their best. And you've got veteran guys that have been through this tournament deal before. We have, and, but, uh, you know, it's uh, Bob, it's this time of year, you know each other so well in conference play. And, uh, you know, Chris Jans does a great job with this team. And, He's going to have them ready to play, and uh, they, they, uh, it's going to be a big challenge for us, and we're going to have to have everybody on board ready to go. But this is a confident Tennessee team coming in here. Yeah, I'd like to think so. You know, we know that we didn't play maybe as well as we could have to close it out at home, but Kentucky played great, and um, but uh, we did make a comeback, had a chance to tie the game, but... Uh, I'm, again, I'm excited to get started myself. There's a whole new season in it. It's a whole new season, and uh, everybody here knows it, and hope that we, it's just you got to 
survive in advance is what it's about, and hopefully we can we can do that. Coach, good luck today against Bulldogs. All right, thanks. Rick Barnes, his comments on today's game with Mississippi State. The final word from Coach Rick Barnes is brought to you by First Horizon, the first word in banking. First Horizon, the official bank of the balls. Tennessee in the SEC tournament. The Volunteers go up against Mississippi State coming up next here on the Vol. Please listen close. New Tellurides, New Tellurides, New Tellurides. The new Telluride you want is at Rusty Wallace Kia on Alcoa Highway. We have over 20 to choose from, and the price will not be a problem. Do not overpay for your new Telluride. Come to Rusty Wallace Kia on Alcoa Highway, where the selection is great, and Tellurides are being sold with no dealer markup. Don't forget, every new Kia sold on Alcoa Highway comes with a no-charge, 200,000-mile warranty. See dealer for details. 8817 Kingston Pike is where East Tennessee gets engaged. That's professional jewelers. Yes, spring is in the air, love is in the air, but you don't need any special occasion. Sure, there's the landmark occasions, there's the Valentines, the birthdays, the Christmas, all of that. But sometimes you just need to say, I love you, or... I got to get this watch fixed. I got to get this jewelry fixed. Professional Jewelers buys your gold where East Tennessee gets engaged. 8817 Kingston Pike and Athens. Sun up on a cool, sweet morning. Sausage frying in the pan. Make that sausage always Wamplers. It's the finest in the land. Wamplers, Wamplers, it's great sausage made on the farm in Tennessee. Don't say sausage, just say Wamplers for the best in quality. Make that sausage always Wamplers, it's the best in quality. You're tuned in to Tennessee Basketball on the Vol Network. Tennessee Basketball is about hard work and effort. It's about each man doing his job. We will give our all for Tennessee Basketball today. Tennessee wins! This is Big Orange Basketball. Things will turn up a notch today at the SEC Basketball Tournament. We enter the quarterfinals. The top four seeds all coming off double buys enter the fray here in Nashville. Tennessee, the number one seed, will lead things off as the Vols take on Mississippi State. The ninth-seeded Bulldogs put together a strong second half yesterday to beat eighth-seeded LSU 70-60. to The MSU win snapped a four-game losing streak and kept them in the hunt for a bubble spot for the NCAA Tournament. It's the second meeting of the season between the Vols and the Bulldogs. MSU knocked off Tennessee 77-72 in January at Humphrey Coliseum. Tennessee enters the SEC tournament after winning the SEC regular season championship. No Tennessee team has ever won both the regular season title and the SEC tournament championship. The Vols seek to take that first step toward making program history today. It'll take three wins in three days here in Nashville to get it done. Step one is the SEC quarterfinals as Tennessee takes on Mississippi State. It's time for Bob and Bert on Big Orange Basketball. Exciting play-by-play -play action of the Tennessee Volunteers on the Vol Network. With Bert Bertelkamp and Bob Kessler. Sponsored by First Horizon. Celebrating 30 years as the official bank of UT Athletics. By UT Medical Center. The official health care provider of the Vols. By Farm Bureau Insurance. Our agents are there when you need them. We're Tennessee's insurance company and the official insurance of the Vols. By Ford. Visit your local Ford dealer. Proud sponsor of the Tennessee Volunteers. By the Natural Gas Utilities and Pipeline Companies in Tennessee. Natural Gas. And by Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. Coors Light, made to chill. Celebrate responsibly. Distributed across Tennessee by Cherokee Distributing. Back in 30 seconds. Tennessee basketball is brought to you by the Rusty Wallace family of dealerships. Hyundai, Kia, Nissan, Ford, Honda, Chevrolet, and Toyota. In Richmond Federal Credit Union, your volunteer Buick GMC dealers. Visit My Smokies, Swaggerty's Farm Sausage, Union Place Bar and Grill, the Tennessee Highway Safety Office, East Tennessee Children's Hospital, Lazy Days RV, and Professional Jewelers. Bridgestone Arena in downtown Nashville is filling up for this first of four quarterfinal matchups today. The majority of the crowd, we're in Tennessee Orange as the Volunteers open play in this SEC tournament. The first of four, they take on Mississippi State. 
Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Tennessee Basketball. Bob Kessling, Burt Bertelkamp with you. Courtside here at Bridgestone Arena. Burt, postseason is here. Tournament time, and it's really exciting. Yeah, Mississippi State's got a game under their belt. This will be our first game, but it's, it is very exciting, Bob. This, this is what you played for. We had a successful regular season, obviously winning the SEC. Now the next step, the SEC tournament and then beyond. But the, the first step's Mississippi State, and they got to be focused because they know what Mississippi State's capable of. Everything turns up a notch when you get to this postseason. Yeah. The, uh, the guys play harder because they know you could be one and done. Yeah. Uh, the officiating is different. They let you play more. It's just a whole different atmosphere. And everybody's here watching you. Yeah. You know, the whole conference is paying attention. So it's big. Tennessee's got a great opportunity to win some games. Tennessee comes into the game 24-7, and all 14-4 and in conference play. Mississippi State got a win yesterday. Really a must-win for them if they want to make the NCAA tournament. They had lost their last four games uh, in the regular season, but they uh, rallied in the second half, and they beat the LSU Tigers 70-60. to And so they've advanced here in the quarterfinals, and they'd like to keep playing as well. A win today over Tennessee would make them pretty much a lock, you would think, for the NCAA tournament, so there's a lot for them to play. Yeah, they have a lot of incentive, no doubt. Winning against Tennessee would, be, would probably get them in. They may be in any way, I don't know. But, the, but you know Coach Jans is in there talking it up big time. Indeed. Tennessee has won this tournament five times. The first one in 1936, the last one in 2022. Tennessee would like to match up this tournament championship with a regular season title. It would be the first time in Tennessee history that the Volunteers have pulled that off. So it's a challenge today, though. Mississippi State won the first game in Starkville, 77-72, back on January 10th. The rematch is today here in Bridgestone Arena in the SEC quarterfinals. It's Tennessee going up against Mississippi State. We'll check the lineups, tip things off from Nashville when we come back in a moment. This is Tennessee basketball on the Vol Network. Hey, folks, it's Jake from Rusty Wallace Kia of Knoxville, and it's time for you to score some bracket-busting deals. You can buy a 2024 Kia Sportage for $3,000 below MSRP, or a 2024 Kia Sorento for $2,000 below MSRP, or a 2024 Kia Telluride for $1,000 below MSRP. These bracket-busting deals are only here through Saturday night, so hurry in before the buzzer sounds to Rusty Wallace Kia of Knoxville, I-75 at Callahan Drive. Nothing makes Make sports better than mouth-watering food. Drive down Sutherland Avenue or Lovell Road, pull over to that fresh, amazing smell coming from Gus's world-famous fried chicken, and you'll find that out for a fact. Gus's still fries chicken the way it was meant to be, using their proprietary 50-year-old recipe out of Mason, Tennessee. It's so good that GQ magazine named Gus's one of the top 10 meals worth flying for in the U.S. If you love fried chicken and what Vol fan doesn't, you have to try Gus's world-famous fried chicken. Game day packs and catering available. Open seven days a week. Hey, to the sea, it's Chad at Rusty Wallace Honda. It's March, so let the madness begin. You won't get your bracket busted when you score one of these. A 2024 Accord Hybrid Sport or a 2024 front-wheel drive CRV Hybrid Sport. Your choice, only $3.59 a month. Or get a game changer, like a 2024 Pilot EXL, only $4.39 a month. It's loaded with leather and all-wheel drive. So don't miss your shot at the best Honda lineup in the entire area. The intersection of selection, Rusty Wallace Honda, I-75 at Callahan Drive. See dealer for details. Tell Google to play 107.7 WIVK. Now time for today's starting lineups brought to you by Humana. First of all, for the uh, Mississippi State Bulldogs, coached by Chris Jans, and this is second year. Jans, just the 10th SEC coach to win 20 games and get to the NCAA tournament in his first year. That was last year with Mississippi State when they went 21-13 and and advanced to the NCAA tournament. They will start DJ Jeffries, 6'7", a grad student from Olive Brand, Mississippi, a transfer from Memphis. He's averaging six points a game. Tulu Smith, they're all conference center, 6'11". He's a grad student out of Bay St. Louis, Missouri. He's averaging 16 points a game and eight rebounds per contest. They're rock-solid forward. Cameron Matthews, a great defensive player, 6'7", 230, senior out of Olive Branch, Mississippi. He's averaging almost 10 points a game and seven rebounds a game. Deshaun Davis is a guard, 6'2", a grad student from the Bronx, a transfer from Oregon State. He's averaging 6.5 points a game, 2 rebounds. And their fantastic freshman, Josh Hubbard, 5'10", 190, a freshman from Madison, Mississippi. He's averaging 16.8 points a game, and he has been dynamic. He was tremendous yesterday in the second half, putting through 24 points, helping the Bulldogs 
knock off the LSU Tigers. Now for the Tennessee Volunteers, coached by Rick Barnes in this his ninth season. Uh, Coach Barnes goes for his 200th win today for Tennessee. He's 199 and 98 so far during his career at Tennessee. Jonas Adu, All SEC player in the middle, 6'11, junior from Durham, North Carolina. 12 points, 7.6 rebounds a game. Dalton Connect, the player of the year, All American, 6'6, fifth year player from Thornton, Colorado, averaging 21 and a half points a game. He's averaging 25 points a game in SEC play. Zakai Ziegler, the SEC Defensive Player of the Year, 5'9", junior from Long Island, averaging 11.5 points a game, leads the league in assist as well, just over six per game. Santiago Vescovi, the veteran 6'3", fifth-year player from Uruguay, averaging seven points a game. And Josiah Jordan-James, 6'7", fifth-year player from Charleston, he's averaging 8.5 points a game and six rebounds a game. That's your starting lineup presented by Humana, a proud partner of the balls. Humana, a more human way to health care. For 75 years, Farm Bureau Insurance has proudly served Tennesseans by helping them protect what matters most. UT Athletics and the Vol Network are thrilled to celebrate this milestone alongside them. It's a story of Tennesseans coming together to support each other, and that's what Farm Bureau Insurance is all about. Tennesseans helping Tennesseans. When it comes to insurance, choose the one that's proudly rooted in the volunteer state. Farm Bureau Insurance, Tennessee's insurance company, and the official insurance of the Vols. We hear about it every day. Americans are looking for ways to be cleaner and less wasteful, more environmentally responsible. They also want warmth, comfort, and style. Plenty of hot water. Reliable performance. Now more than ever, there's something special about natural gas. It's the one energy source that can make both your home and your conscience completely comfortable. Natural gas. This is the Vol Network, and you're listening to Tennessee Basketball with Bob Kessling and Bert Bertelkamp. First of four, the SEC quarterfinals getting ready to start as Tennessee and Mississippi State just about ready to tip things off. They're introducing the starting lineups for both teams. Bert, uh, a lot of folks are skipping work today to come here <laughs> from Nashville. There's a lot of orange in this building right now. There are a ton of people here, and it's great to see Middle Tennessee loves the balls, and uh, hopefully we can provide a great game for them. Veteran team for Tennessee. We mentioned the fact that they've got two fifth-year players. John Fulkerson has played the most games in Tennessee history, 165, but Santiago Vescovi is second with 145. And Josiah Jordan James has 139 games, and they played a lot of those games in postseason. Yeah, they have. And Santiago and Josiah have been together for five years, which is very unusual. They know what what, what the, the they provided great leadership throughout the season. You go to practice, you think they were assistant coaches. They have done a great job. Tennessee will be the higher seed. The ball is the number one seed overall in the tournament, so Tennessee will wear the home white uniforms with orange numerals and orange trim mississippi state they wore black yesterday they're wearing it again today why not you won yesterday don't uh, change a good thing they uh, have white numerals and uh, now they come out and they're getting set to tip things things off first thing tennessee's got to worry about to lose smith yeah you can't let him back you down the points in the paint are going to be a key adu didn't play very well against them down in starkville he'll i'm sure he'll rebound and have a good game today but he's got to neutralize tolu and another interesting matchup, how does Mississippi State stop Dalton Connect? How does Tennessee stop Josh Hubbard, the big scoring guard for Mississippi State? Big challenges for both teams, for sure. Officiating crew, Pat Adams, J.D. Burnett, and Steven Anderson. Here we go. Pat Adams will step in wherever you're listening in Big Orange Country. Glad to have you with us. And we are underway from Music City. Tulu Smith steals the tap, but he bangs it back to Deshaun Davis. He'll bring it across the line as they give it now to Matthews. Guess who's got Hubbard? Ziegler. Matthews takes it left side. Adus comes out and double teams him. They drop it off down low to Smith. Smith on the block. James comes over to help out Adu. Smith keeps it. Backs Adu down. Spins. Goes up and scores. Wow, that on one. That was a strong move. And State leads 2-0. Tennessee in front court. James, top of the circle, gives to Vescovy. He'll bring it back out front and set things up. They got DJ Jeffrey, face guard, and connect everywhere he goes. Vescovy, right side, connect, gets the pass, free throw line, fakes, can't get a shot off. He'll give it to James. He'll fire from the corner. That shot's way short. Vescovy tries to save it in the corner, but he steps out of bounds. 
So Tennessee misses its first shot, and the Bulldogs have the ball and lead 2 to nothing. Tennessee's full-court pressure, man-to-man. Hubbard trying to throw it in. Ziegler's right there. Ziegler's stolen a lot of those inbounds passes. Not this time. As he gets it into Matthews, but James knocks it out of his hand and into the Mississippi State bench. Tennessee's going to play ball pressure everywhere. So now Hubbard will try and bring it in right in front of uh, the Bulldog bench. Jeffries, and now Mississippi State will set it up. Hubbard, top of the key, gives it back to Jeffries. Gets the rebound. Gets it out to Ziegler. He'll push it up. Ziegler, free throw line. Spins, goes to the basket, reverse. Layup is good. That's why he's first team all SEC. Great push by Ziegler. We're tied at two. He just took it to the rim and dared him to stop him. Yeah, he had a little contact and that glanced off and laid it in with his right hand, a little reverse layup. Finish strong. Davis between the circles. Davis on the dribble. Now he goes left, gives it to Matthews, top of the key. Matthews at least. Team James comes over to help. Smith dribbles it out to the corner. Smith goes across the lane. A little scoop shot. It's good with the left hand. Wow, degree of difficulty very high on that shot. Four to two Bulldogs. Ziegler in front court. Gives to James. And a show in the first game against Tennessee. Had 25 points and had five three-pointers in that game. Had 24 yesterday against LSU, and he hits the free throw. Yeah, he's a scorer. He hits 84% of his free throws. So the Bulldogs lead seven to two. Ziegler brings it up for Tennessee. 17 and a half to go in the first. Ziegler, top of the key to Vescovy. Vescovy dumps it to connect. Free throw line turns, fires, makes it. Money. Connect from the free throw line. Silky smooth. That was a nice cut by Connect. He lost his man on a screen down low and curled him to the front. They hit him at the right time. He won't miss many of those. Nope. Davis drives against Vescovy. Picks it off to Jeffries. Now to Smith. Smith hands it up to Hubbard, top of the circle. Hubbard drives left side, gets to the corner, throws it back at front. Stolen, almost stolen by Connect, but Jeffries gets it back. Jeffries goes right to the basket. Scoop shot, no good. They battle for it. James has it, and Tennessee's got the ball down 7-4. Ziegler at midcourt. Ziegler drops it off to James. James brings it back out, now gives to Vescovy between the circles. Vescovy standing out on the big SEC logo. Gets it left side to Connect. Connect drives, baseline, fall away, jump shot, no good this time. Adu gets the rebound. Gets it out to Vescovy. Now down low to Adu. Adu in the lane. Goes Eight. with the left hand. Turns, little fall away 10-footer, bounces short. Rebound goes to Smith. And yeah, you don't see Adu fade away very often. Good no. defense by State. Mississippi State with the ball in the 7-4 lead. Davis kicks it off to Hubbard. Turns, bombs away, misses it. Connect gets the rebound. Tennessee will run back the other way. Up and down the floor we go. Connect pulls up from three. That rattles no. Jeffries rebounds. Vescovy tries to get it away, but he can't do it. And the Bulldogs bring it to front court, leading 7-4. Jeffries trying to get the ball to Hubbard. He does. Hubbard out by midcourt. Dribbles down to the left side right in front of Coach Rick Barnes. Picks up his... Trying to get the ball to Smith. He does on the left block. He whips a pass. Court stolen by James. Great steal. Try to get to Davis at the corner, and James saw that pass coming. Picks it off. Connect. Free throw line. Dumps it off in the corner to James. James pulls up at 15. Fires, rattles, no good. Boy, Tennessee's had a lot of shots just pop out. Well, they're letting them play, too. It's They're banging out they there. They sure are. 7-4, Mississippi State. 15-28 to go first half. Davis. Top of the circle, guarded by Connect. Davis drives him, gets in the lane, turns, little flip shot is good. Nice wow. move. Nice one-on-one -on -one move. 9-4, nine, uh, nine, Mississippi State. 15-10 to go. They're letting them play. Ziegler, top of the key. Now to Vescovy. Lost the ball. It's loose on the floor, and it's picked out of there by Smith as Vescovy threw an errant pass. And now Mississippi State gets the turnover. Here's Hubbard working on Vescovy and an offensive foul on Hubbard as Vescovy went flying as Hubbard pushed off. That's a veteran play by Vescovy. Absolutely. Felt the contact and uh, took the charge. So the foul is on Hubbard. That'll be his first, and that'll take us to our first media break. Comes with 14.53 to go in the first half. With timeout in Nashville, our score is Mississippi State 9, Tennessee 4. 
Vols fans. Customize your car wash experience today with the new Zips Car Wash mobile app. Download the app today and start earning points with every in-app purchase. And get access to app-exclusive offers that save you money. Zips Unlimited members can even earn points for monthly membership purchases. Plus, when you download the app today, your first car wash is on us. Available for iOS and Android. Zips has 20 locations across Knoxville to serve you. Zips Car Wash, proud sponsor of the Tennessee Volunteers. There's a lot of trash talk in basketball, but great teams let their performance do the talking. Like the Ford F-150 truck with smart tech that'll help win the day and leave the competition speechless. That's why F-150 is the best-selling full-size pickup in Tennessee. Greatness starts here. See your local Ford dealer, proud sponsor of the Vols. Based on S&P Global Mobility Total, U.S. new vehicle registrations for the standard full-size pickup segment RYTD April 2023. Some models, trims, and features may not be available or may be subject to change. Wisdom is knowing you can achieve more with a team than you can by yourself. That's as true in medicine as it is in basketball. And as the region's academic medical center and the official health care provider of the Vols, we recognize the power of leadership and teamwork to achieve the best results. That's what wisdom can do for you. The University of Tennessee Medical Center. Wisdom for your life. It's time to cheer on the Tennessee Volunteers with the smooth and refreshing taste of Twisted Tea Hard Iced Tea. Twisted Tea tastes like real iced tea because it's made with real brewed tea. Twisted Tea goes down smooth and at 5% alcohol, it's got the perfect kick to turn things up on game day. It's time to stock up for the season. Look for the bright yellow cans wherever you buy beer. Twisted Tea Hard Iced Tea. Keep it twisted. Please drink responsibly. Twisted Tea Brewing Company, Cincinnati, Ohio. This is the Fall Network, and you're tuned in to Tennessee Basketball at the SEC Basketball Tournament. Mississippi State has the early lead, 9-4 against Tennessee. Right now, let's take a chance to pause. A little late on this, but take a chance to pause 10 seconds for station identification. Produced by Learfield, this is the Vol Network. The flagship station for the Tennessee Volunteers. 107.7 WIVK-FM, Knoxville. A stimulus media station. WIVK. Bob Kessling, Burt Bertelkamp back with the courtside here at Bridgestone Arena. Tennessee 2 for 9 to start the game, and they trail it 9 to 4. And, uh, Bert, it's quite obvious Mississippi State option one is Tulu Smith. Yeah. And uh, Tennessee's trying to get everybody involved right now. Just had some pretty good looks. Just haven't had, had yeah. them go down. Yeah, hadn't, hadn't had them go. Maybe a little bit tight starting out. But State's starting out well offensively. They're four for eight from the field. Tulu's two for two. And you're right. They're going to him every time. Tennessee's thrown a double team at him a couple of times. He threw it away last possession. But I think they'll solve that. They just can't let him get the ball too deep. As Tulu Smith takes a rest, and they bring Jimmy Bell into the game. Also, Shaquille Moore comes in. They Tennessee. play a lot of people. Yeah, they do. Awaka and Meshack come in for Tennessee. Ziegler in front court. Ziegler gets it left side to James. Looks down low for Awaka. Can't get it to him. Gives it to Meshack, top of the circle. Back to Ziegler, who lost it. The ball is knocked out of bounds, and it's off Ziegler. Hubbard came over to... Deflect that pass, and he deflected it off Ziegler out of bounds. State's done that a couple of times in Tennessee. Results a couple of turnovers. They're aggressive on defense. So the turnover gives the ball back to Mississippi State. Both teams have two turnovers early. 14-39 to go in the first half. Matthews gives it to Hubbard. Now Mayshack's got Hubbard. Moore will work it up. Hubbard hadn't been starting that much. It's only his 13th start of the season, but he's been starting more as of lately. Hubbard gets it out front. Now to Matthews. Matthews top of the key. Walker switches out on him. Bounce it down low to Bell. He's not as much of a score as Smith, but he's trying to back down James. Turns, hooks it up from in front, bangs it up there hard. No good. A Walker rebound. That was a brick. Good defense by Awaka. Excellent. Tennessee with the ball trailing 9-4. Ziegler. Right side, Mayshack in the corner. It goes to James. Down low, Awaka. Working on Bell. It spins into a double team. Awaka's in jail. Underneath, he throws it out to James. Cross-court connect. He fakes. Drives. Free throw line out front. Ziegler. He fakes. Drives to the basket. Throws it up with the left hand short. James rebounds it. Out to Mayshack. He'll fire a three. That's way off the mark. Boy, Tennessee's tough shooting so far in the first half. 
Matthews drives against Ziegler, gets to the basket, lays it in. Good strong wow. drive. He's a very physical player, Matthews. 11-4 Bulldogs. Ziegler, top of the key to James. 13 and a half minutes to go. First half. Connect. Now to Owaka, back to Annette. Connect. Loops it out front to Owaka again. Now to Ziegler, top of the circle. State's double teaming when they can. Ziegler gets it to connect in the corner. His three-pointer is short. Owaka goes for the rebound. And they're going to say that Bell fouled him. So Bell pushing off inside against Owaka. And Tennessee will maintain possession. Well, those two are going at it, Bill and Awaka. Big old guys down low. <laughs> no doubt. Smith comes into the game, and Bell will take a seat. Jeffries has done a pretty good job on Connect so far. Connect has started this game just one of four from the floor. Tennessee has the ball 20 seconds on the shot clock, 13-10 on the game clock, 11-4. Mississippi State has the lead. Ziegler to trigger the inbounds. Under the bucket. Hubbard goes out of the game for Mississippi State. As both coaches are rotating players early. Ziegler to throw it in. Looks for Connect. Can't get it to him. Gives to Awaka. On the left block, Awaka brings it back out front. And they strip it away from him and steal it. Moore goes right to the basket. Now he drops it off and there's the slam by Jeffrey. Excellent play by Moore. He blindsided Tobey, who's not used to handling the ball out on the, on the floor. Took it away from him. Walker's going to block that shot by Moore, but he dropped it off to Jeffries. Here's Connect. Gives it to a Walker. A Walker makes a move to the basket against Smith. Double teamed again. They knock it away from him. Two straight turnovers. Here's Matthews going to the basket, and he lays it up and in. Strong move. Tennessee's turned it over four or five times already, which is unusual. 15 to four. Walker's got back-to-back -back turnovers, and Adu's coming back into the game. Gaines in for Tennessee now. Has a right side. Top of the key of Walker. Now to Mayshack. 12-21 to go first half. It's been all state so far. 15-4. Ziegler on the right wing. Drives to the basket underneath. He's shut off. Kicks it off to Mayshack. Mayshack spins out to Ganey. He fakes the three. Can't get a shot off. Now to Ziegler. Two seconds. One second. He launches at the shot clock buzzer. And that's a shot clock violation. And basically another turnover for Tennessee. Boy, State's being up right now in Tennessee big time. They're denying everything, putting a lot of ball pressure out front on the perimeter players. And they're not letting the ball get inside. And when they do, they collapse and they've, they've generated several turnovers. That was a shot clock violation right there. That's... That's, we're not used to seeing that. Tennessee has more turnovers so far than they do points. Five turnovers, just four points. Sean Jones now comes in for Mississippi State. And he'll try and throw it in under the basket. He gets it to Davis. He's double teamed. Back out to Jones, and Jones will dribble it up. He fires a pass. Deflected by Vescovy. Ganey gets the deflection. Ganey goes to the basket. Lost the ball going in. And moves it off. It's out on Ganey, I think. They, they say Ganey just lost the ball going to the basket. He didn't protest. And so another turnover gives the ball back to Mississippi State. Ball's having a tough time hanging on to the ball. That is six turnovers for Tennessee. Mississippi State is now on a 13-2 run. In fact, 8-0 uh, run, as a matter of fact. So State taking advantage of these turnovers, and they build up the lead on Tennessee to 15-4. So timeout, 11.52 to go in this quarterfinal matchup. Here from Bridgestone Arena at Mississippi State's up by 11, 15 4. At First Horizon, we know convenience has never been more important to Vol fans. With mobile banking from First Horizon, your bank is as close as your mobile phone, and you'll find everything you need to take care of your financial life. Whether it's in the middle of a Tennessee game or while spending time with family, mobile banking has never been easier or more convenient. It's just another way. First Horizon has your back. First Horizon, proud to be the official bank of the Vols. UT fans know it takes teamwork to win. And when you choose Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee, you can get it all. Medical, dental, vision, and wellness from a mission-driven company that has been right here for over 75 years. So you get the simplicity of one card and the peace of mind of one team working together for your health wherever you go. Now that is a huge win. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee. 
As leaders in disaster cleanup and restoration, headquartered in Tennessee, pros at ServPro are prepared for anything. Whether it's fire damage, water damage, or cleaning up after a big win, you can count on ServPro to help make it like it never even happened. With more than 50 locations across Tennessee, they've got Vol Nation and their businesses covered. Call them at 1-800-SERVE-PRO, proud sponsor of the Tennessee Volunteers. Serve Pro, independently owned and operated. Ah, fun is in full bloom, Tennessee, and the multiplier instant games are buzzing in. These colorful tickets offer chances to multiply your wins 10, 20, 50, and even 100 times. It's a beautiful day for bigger and bigger prizes, and they're right for the picking right now. Find the Multiplier Instant Games today at your nearest Tennessee Lottery retailer. Only from the Tennessee Lottery. Game-changing fun. Please play responsibly. This is the Vol Network, and you're listening to the Tennessee Volunteers at the SEC Basketball Tournament with Bob Kessling, Bert Bertelkamp, and John Wilkerson. Mississippi State leads it 15-4. The Volunteers have turned it over six times, and uh, hard to... Uh, get a lead when you're turning it over this much. And, Bert, the other stat that really stands out is that Mississippi State's outscored Tennessee in the paint 14-2. to Yeah, I noticed that right off the bat. And Tolu Smith has a lot to do with that. But they've gotten a couple of runouts off turnovers. The turnovers have killed Tennessee. Six turnovers is way too many this early. And State, you got to give credit to their defense. They're in the passing lanes. They're putting a lot of pressure on the ball. And they're not letting us get inside. And when we do, they're collapsing. So they got a good game plan. We're going to have to adjust to it. And Jeffries is pretty much face guarded, connect everywhere he's gone. He had one good look and he made it, but the others have been with quite a bit of resistance from State. Connect right now, one for four from the field, 0 for two at the three point range. And our press bothered State down in Starkville. In fact, we came back with using that press. Yeah. Tennessee's putting a lot of pressure on them now. So far, it really hadn't bothered them that much. They turned it over the last possession. When Ganey got that steal, hopefully we can wear yeah, it down. Mississippi State led Tennessee at halftime down in Starkville, 35-22. And then Tennessee outscored them in the second half, 50-42. to But State still won at 77-72. State's got the ball, 11.52 to go. State's trying to get it in bounds. And they finally throw it up court and goes to Tolu Smith, who had to come back to get it. And he'll dribble it up to front court. Tolu Smith dribbles down to the baseline, lost the ball, he's double teamed now, saves it, but saves it right to Ganey. Tennessee gets a turnover, now the ball batted free, Ziegler gets it, goes to the basket, and he's fouled. So both teams had a handle on it, couldn't finish it, and then the foul is called on Sean Jones, that'll send Ziegler to the line. Yeah, to Tolu kept the ball a little bit too long, he ended up in the dead corner and threw it away. Tennessee got a good trap on him. That's the fourth turnover by Mississippi State. Ziegler to the line, 71% free throw shooter. Fires the free throw and hits. All defensive team, SEC Defensive Player of the Year. First team on the coach's ballot. As Ziegler just had an outstanding season. Second free throw was good. Made them both. Coming off ACL, too, on top of that. He's a tremendous competitor. 15-6, to six, Mississippi State Bulldogs. It's a struggle to get the ball in bounds. Smith has to help him out again. They bring it to front court and Moore. Working on Ganey. Fires the pass underneath to Smith. They're knocked away by Adu. And then Smith trying to get it back. Grabs Adu and picks up a foul. Not a smart play by Smith. Not a good pass either. Cross court underneath. Too much, <laughs> too yeah. much space there for them to get rid of get complete that pass. Too many good defenders there in the yeah. way. So that turnover gives the ball back to Tennessee, and of course, Smith picks up the foul. 15-6, Mississippi State. Connect in front court, gives to Adu, top of the circle. Adu hands it back to Vescovy. Vescovy, three for the line, throws up a runner, good with the left hand. Excellent shot, tough shot by Vescovy. Good to see. 15-8, to eight, Mississippi State. Here's Matthews in front court for the Bulldogs, gives it back out front to Davis, and they'll set it up. Davis, Hence to Hubbard. Hubbard runs Vescovy through a couple of screens but can't get a shot off. Now to Matthews. Back to Davis on the left side. Davis between the circle. Dribbles with the right hand. Gives to Hubbard. Three-point range. 
in the corner. They throw it up down low to Smith. He's double team, kicks it across, and coming in to slam it with two hands is Matthews. Wow, that was a great cut by Matthews. Bailed out Tolu. Vescovy with his team trailing 17 to 8 gives to connect. Back to Vescovy. Thought about a three pointer. Drives, spins in the lane, kicks across court. Ganey, he's wide open and three is good. Money! Ganey knew that was going in when he let it go. Good look by Vescovy. 17 11, Mississippi State. Ganey's first basket. Hubbard, now to Davis at three point range. Davis between the circles. Out front, Vescovy's got him. Tennessee's man to man. Approaching the 10 minute mark in the first half. Hubbard working on Ganey. Behind the back dribble. Goes to the basket. Throws it up there. Adu blocks it. Wow. Off the backboard. And here comes Vescovy in front court. Fires it cross court to connect. He goes to the basket. Layup is rolling off the rim. Smith gets the rebound for Mississippi State. I don't know if somebody got a piece of that think, going in. I think they did. Because Connect usually doesn't miss that shot. Here's Davis going in against Vescovy. Banks it off the glass. Good. And Vescovy fouled him. Wow. That's a tough individual move by Davis that time. Strong drive across the lane, came to a jump stop. Vescovy ran into him, and Davis flipped it off the backboard. Good. That's the first foul on Vescovy, only the second team foul on Tennessee. And Davis to the line. Davis came in yesterday and sparked Mississippi State down the stretch, hit a big three-point shot to help the Bulldogs knock off LSU. Davis free throw on the way, good. So Davis a three-point play, and the Bulldogs build their lead back up to nine. It's 20 to 11. Under 10 minutes to go in the first half. Connect. Gives to Ziegler in the corner of Vescovy. Vescovy drives against Hubbard. Picks it off left side. Ganey's got another open look. No good. Adu runs down the rebound backside. Gives to Vescovy. Vescovy drives to the basket. Throws up a left-hand shot. That's blocked out of bounds by Jones. Jones was right on top of Vescovy, and he tried to throw up a little left-hand hook. And Jones blocked it out of bounds. A lot of contact. Bert, they're letting them play. Yeah, they really are. They've only called four fouls on Mississippi State and two on Tennessee so far. Tennessee will have 14 seconds on the shot clock. 9.23 to go on the game clock, and the Bulldogs lead by nine. Inbounds pass, connect, turns, fires a three, off the mark. Ball loose underneath, and Mississippi State picks it up. Keyshawn Murphy, who just came into the game, gets the rebound. Connect now one for five. Here's State. Driving to the basket, and the left-hand layup good by Davis. Uh, That's five straight points for him. Yeah, he's looking good for them. 22-11. James, right side to Mayshack. Now to Ziegler. He knifes to the basket. Goes underneath, kicks it off in the corner. There's a three on the way. That's good. There we go. Connect hits from the corner. That'll get him going. He's got a short memory. He can miss five or six in a row. It doesn't matter to he's him. He's not going to quit shooting. No. 22-14, Mississippi State. Davis gives to Hubbard. Now to Murphy, top of the key. Murphy drives against James. Goes underneath. Hit the bottom of the backboard with his pass. and But it carried off James out of bounds. I don't know where Murphy was going. I don't either. He's trying to look for Tolu. And the ball's... Knocked out of bounds, and it'll be Mississippi State ball with 13 seconds on the shot clock. I'm not sure Coach Barnes thought that was off one of the Tennessee players. State trying to get it in bounds. They do to Murphy in the corner, guarded by Ziegler. Murphy's, Murphy's going to turn it over. Murphy comes across the lane, kicks it off to Davis. Davis, again, attacks the basket, goes up with the left hand and missed it. James rebounds. Tough shot. Trying to draw a foul, didn't get it. 22-14, Mississippi State. Ziegler pulls up a long three, is bouncing. No good. Tolu Smith goes high to get the rebound. State's got the ball and the lead with eight minutes to go in the first half. 22-14. Hubbard working against Mayshack. Drops it off to Smith on the right block. Smith comes across the lane, spins against Adu. Fakes, goes up, shots blocked, and they're going to call a foul. Wow, that looked clean to me. James gets the foul. Looked kind of like possibly a jump ball. Tennessee's bench wanted a travel violation. Smith kind of pivoting in the lane a couple of different ways. But it's going to be a foul, and State will have free throws when we come back. Eight minutes to go in the first half. Tennessee is shooting 24% from the floor, and Tennessee is trailing Mississippi State here at the SEC Tournament, 22-14. Food City, Pampers Produce, we go the extra mile. This place, it smells.
things amazing. I can't help but smile. We're pruning and spritzing, ensuring it's fresh. I'm tasting and savoring so I know it's the best. We're picky about produce so you won't worry. It's fresh or they'll replace it. End of story. Because nobody does food. Or produce. Like Food City. On game day, success starts with a great game plan. It takes teamwork and giving it your best effort, no matter if you're at home or on the road. Greatness starts here with the Ford F-150 truck, delivering a rare combination of performance and smart technology, like the available class-exclusive Pro Power Onboard. F-150 helps make great things possible. Visit your local Ford dealer, proud sponsor of the balls. See owner's manual for important operating instructions. Classes full-size pickups under 8,500 pounds, GVWR. The die-hard batteries you know and trust are now at Advance Auto Parts. That means all the reliability, durability, and power you expect now come with free testing, free installation, and the unrivaled expertise of Advance team members. And you don't even need an appointment. When it's time to hit the road, stop by Advance Auto Parts to start strong with a die-hard battery. Advance your auto at Advance Auto Parts and participate in CarQuest locations. See store for details. Think back to 30 years ago. There was no email, no Facebook, no Twitter, and no recycling. Thankfully, things change. The first and largest on-campus recycling effort belongs to the University of Tennessee. Celebrating 30 amazing years. Eastman Waste Connections, UT Sustainability, and Food City. Thanks for creating an evolution. You are listening to the Tennessee Volunteers in the SEC Basketball Tournament on the Vol Network. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield and the Vol Network under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Tennessee. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the express written consent of the University of Tennessee and Learfield Vol Network. Announcers are provided by Learfield Vol Network and approved by the University of Tennessee. Bob Kessling and Burt Burwakamp back with you here at Bridgestone Arena in downtown Nashville, Mississippi State continues to get the ball to the basket. They've outscored Tennessee in the paint 18-4 to and lead it 22-14. That's the story of the game, Bob. They've, been, they've done a great job getting the ball inside, both to their big men and their guards slashing to the basket. And they've scored a couple points off turnovers doing that as well. we got to shore up our turnovers and also protect the basket better. Dalton Connect leads Tennessee with five points, but he's two of seven for the field and one of four at three-point range. Leading score for the Bulldogs is Deshaun Davis, as he has seven points. Tolu Smith has four, and they've done a nice job on Josh Hubbard. He has just three points in the game. He is one of four from the field. Five for 21 from the field. Tennessee is cold as ice right now. Two of 11 in three-point range. Tolu Smith at the line. He scored over 1,500 points, 11th. On the all-time Mississippi State scoring list, then he fires the free throw, no good. It's an adventure when he goes in the line. 57% for the whole team, actually. They only shoot 67% as a team. Tolu Smith also has 850 rebounds in his career. Second free throw on the way. That one's good. Smith has five. Mississippi State leads 23-14. They're present, Tennessee. 2-2-1. Two, two, Ziegler splits the press, gives it to connect in front court. And now Ziegler gets the ball back and sets up the play. Ziegler splits the defense, goes to the basket, kicks it out to James. His three on the way, bounces short. Adu gets another rebound, kicks it out to Connect. Now to Ziegler. He knifes down the lane, fires it off to Mayshack. Mayshack spins it back to Ziegler, left wing his three, way short. James gets the rebound. Out to Ziegler, he'll try it again. That one misses. Tipped by Mayshack is wow. no good. And finally the rebound to Murphy. There's a lid on it. They had good, clean looks that time, and none of them went. Tennessee has missed its last eight field goal attempts. Hubbard kicks the ball over to Jeffries. Jeffries, now to Smith, top of the circle. Smith trying to back Adu down, gets into the free throw line. Adu staying right with him. Smith picks up his dribble, gives to Hubbard. Three seconds of the shot clock. Hubbard, step back, bomb. Good, that's a three. That's a tough shot. Going to your left, pull up on Mayshack. Wow. With one second on the shot clock. 26-14. Here's Ziegler getting to the basket, lays it up and in. Smith didn't want to foul him, 
Yeah, Ziegler went right to the rim. And Ziegler knew that, didn't he? Yep, sure did. 26-16, state by 10. We're six and a half minutes away for time. Moore, now to Murphy. Murphy looks down low to Smith. Smith really working hard on that right block. Gets the pass. Back in Adu down. Meshack there to help. Smith comes across the lane and throws it away. Yeah, he'll turn it over with pressure. Try to get it to Murphy. Cutting on the baseline, and James steals it. Ziegler in the corner launches a three. That bounces off the side of the backboard. Goes all the way into backcourt. Connect runs it down. They don't reset the shot clock. They did reset it. Yeah, they did. Here's Connect driving to the basket. Goes in, throws up a wild left-hand shot. No good. Loose Meshack picks it up in the corner. Gives to Ziegler. Ziegler drives against Jeffrey. Stops. Can't get a shot off. Gives to James. He's stripped as he goes down the lane. The ball loose on the floor. And James going after it. And they're out of bounds. Uh, apparently, Jeffries and James both were on the baseline going for the loose ball. And they're going to say it's going to be Tennessee basketball as both were on the line. Let's see. James was down there. And I think it's still going to be Tennessee basketball. Yeah, I think so. State has hit seven of its last nine shots. Tennessee has won for its last eight. That's the reason the Bulldogs lead by ten. Thirteen seconds on the shot clock. That's going to be to throw it in. Looks, looks, looks. Lobs it out to connect almost at midcourt. Connect. Loops it to Adu at the free throw line. He'll fire a free throw line. Jump shot. Banks it in. We'll take it. Yep. First basket for Adu. 26-18, Mississippi State. Five and a half minutes to go in the first half. Bulldogs up by eight with the ball. Jeffries gives to Matthews. Matthews looking for Hubbard to come get the ball. Hubbard does. Top of the circle. James switches out on him. Right side, Jeffries. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Hubbard's got it by midcourt. Hubbard. Gets it to Tolu Smith. He's going to drive against Adu. Goes down the lane. The ball stripped out of bounds. Shot clock violation. Adu did a great job staying in front of Smith. He sure did. Knocks the ball away, and a shot clock violation gives it back to Tennessee. I think Tennessee now has no problem letting Tolu Smith have the ball out on the floor. He's going to make. He's going to create a problem for himself. But that's, you don't want him to get it deep. That's seven turnovers for Mississippi State. They average almost 13 a game, so they will turn it over. Tennessee down by eight with 5'10 to go in the first half. Vescovy brings it to front court. Vescovy, not a gainy out front. Connects open left side, turns, doesn't shoot it. Connect, drives to the baseline, gives to Adu. His 15-footer is bouncing no good. They battle for the rebound, and coming out of there with it is Jeffries from Mississippi State. Jeffries, top of the circle. Two Tennessee players went down trying to get that rebound. I think they ran into each other. Vescovy was one of them. Stay with the ball. It's been their tempo this whole game. Top of the circle, Matthews. Matthews spins against Ganey. Goes to the basket. Kicks it off down low. Bell lays it up and in, and he's fouled by Adu. That was an adventure. Bell's not a good score, but he was able to get that one, muscle it up and in, and pick up a foul on Adu. Yeah, I thought Matthews probably should have shot that ball. Instead, he passed it. Bell wasn't really in position to even catch it. Then he spun and got it got it to go with the left. So State builds the lead to 10, and Bell to the free throw line. 64% free throw shooter is Bell. Transfer from West Virginia. Fires the free throw, and he missed it. They will miss a bunch of them. 28-18, state by 10, 425 to go first half. Ganey in front court. Ganey gives to James, top of the circle, hands it back to Connect. Connect. Top of the key, drives, kicks it off, and throws it right by James out of bounds. Connect looked like he was going to the basket and threw it left side to James and went right past him. Well, Another they're, turnover. They're basically double teaming him. Anytime he drives, they're they're really focused on him on both sides, left or right. He's going to have to give up, give up the ball quicker, I think. And he's done that to Adu several times. We just haven't been able to score. Connect goes out with five points in the first half. He's two out of eight. State, four minutes to go in the first half. The Bulldogs lead by ten. They've controlled the tempo. This is exactly the speed they like to play. Davis working on Ganey, top of the key. Keeps the dribble alive, now gives to Matthews. 
Matthews. Works on Ganey. Drives into the basket. Lays it up and in. Went right around him. Too easy. Matthews with eight. He's had a good first half. He's a strong player. 30 to 18 state. Ziegler at the free throw line gives to Ganey. He'll launch another three. That rattles out. That was all the way down and popped out. Matthews gets the rebound. He's in a hurry to front court. Mississippi State leads by 12. Matthews in the lane. Drops it off down low to Bell. Bell with Adu on him on the right block. Comes across the lane. Hooks it up with the left hand and scores. Too deep. 32-18 State. This crowd here at Bridgestone Arena dressed in orange is stunned right now. State has a 14-point lead with three minutes to go in the first half. Vescovy gives to Ziegler. Kicks it out to Ganey. Ganey now to Vescovy. He's open for three. Fires too strong. Rebound bangs up there twice, and Hubbard comes out of there with it. State with the ball up by 14 points. Davis waits for his teammates to catch up, and Davis sets up the play. They're in no hurry with 2.50 to go in the first half. Davis gives to Matthews. Loves to drive it. Top of the circle. James has him. Matthews dribbles right side. Looks down low for Bell. Gets in the ball against Adu. Give and go. Matthews to the basket. Hammer slam. And he's fouled on the play. Well, give and go. James went to double team and turned his back. And they, Matthews cut right to the rim. And Bell hit him with a good pass. Holy moly, what a slam that time. And he's fouled on the play, and he'll go to the line to shoot. The foul is going to be on Josiah Jordan-James. State out playing Tennessee. 2.31 to go in the first half. The Bulldogs have built up a 16-point lead. With timeout, our score is Mississippi State 34, Tennessee 18. Back in a moment, this is Tennessee basketball on the Ball Network. Food City, Pampers Produce, we go the extra mile. This place... It smells amazing. I can't help but smile. We're pruning and spritzing, ensuring it's fresh. I'm tasting and savoring so I know it's the best. We're picky about produce so you won't worry. It's fresh or they'll replace it. End of story. Because nobody does food. Or produce. Like Food City. There are trucks. Then there's the truck. GMC Sierra. With available features like the V8 engine. The ultimate luxury interior. And of course, the available world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate. GMC Sierra. Not just any truck. The truck. GMC's continued commitment to professional-grade engineering is on full display at your East Tennessee GMC dealer. Come take a test drive today and see for yourself. We are professional-grade GMC. Every morning. Every evening. We're here. Because when it comes to children, it's more than a job. It's our life. We're here for every tear, every little scare, and for life's greatest challenges. We're East Tennessee Children's Hospital, and together, we're taking care of our future, one child at a time. Hey, East Tennessee, it's Jordan Davis on the flagship station for the Tennessee Volunteers, 107.7 WIVK. It's serious XM. You get it all and all at the press of a button. Listen to your kind of music, commercial free, plus everything entertainment, everything comedy, com every kind of comedy, and of course, coverage of every major sport, including the Tennessee Volunteers. So tune into the best of the best. Mississippi State's getting the best at Tennessee right now. They've held Tennessee without a point for three minutes and 13 seconds, and in the process, they have built up a 34 18 lead, and they'll have Matthews go into the line. Burt, Mississippi State's always been known under Chris Jans as a very good defensive team, but they've really locked down on Tennessee today. Tennessee 7 for 32, 21.9%. You're right. They force us into seven turnovers, but where they killed us is in the paint, 26 to 6. And Tolu Smith and their guards have done a nice job with their passing, interior passing, cutting to the rim, and we just, we just hadn't been as, as resistant as we normally are so far. Yeah, usually Tennessee does not allow straight line drives, and they've no. had a few of those. And Matthews just had that thunder slam with the left hand, yeah. and he'll go to the line now trying to complete a three-point play. Yeah, usually we don't let teams get in the paint at all, no. and they've been able to do it repeatedly. So State trying to build up a 17-point lead as Matthews goes to the line. Not a good free-throw shooter, just 56%. 
He's averaging nine and a half points a game. He's got ten already in the first half. Matthews from Olive, Olive Branch, Mississippi. Puts it up there and it rolls off. A walk against the rebound. Lead stays at 16. State now just three of six at the free throw line in the first half. Tennessee's going to try to get Connect going here before the end of the half. Matthews has done a good job on him. Face guarding him everywhere. Yep. He do. Top of the key back to a cut. Beskaby gets it underneath to a walker. His shot's blocked going for the jam as Bell came across and tied him up. It's an alternate possession. It'll stay with Tennessee, but Bell, what a 6 <laughs> 10 comes over and jams a walker right at the rim. Usually a walker is so strong you'll take somebody with him, but that time Bell was equal to the task. What a play. Clean block. 11 seconds on the shot clock. They're going to run connect to the corner. Try to. Ziegler can't get him the ball. Ziegler looks, gets it off underneath to a walk in. The ball is kicked out of bounds by Mississippi State. Well, that's a break for Tennessee. Mm -hmm. That was going to be a turnover right there. Well, they've scouted that play connect to the corner, and they didn't stay in front of him. Ziegler tries to bring it in again. Gets it underneath. Adu kicks it off in the corner. Best could be a three. That rattles out. Tennessee just can't hit a three-point shot. They're two for 18 from three-point range. State gets the rebound. And the Bulldogs have the ball with two minutes to go in the first half. Mississippi State leads it 34-18. Davis, top of the circle, working on Ziegler. Picks up his dribble. Ziegler's all over him. He gets rid of it to Matthews. Matthews goes to the basket. He's going to be found on a holding foul on Vescovy. I can't believe they didn't call a foul on Ziegler. He just attacked Davis. It's not a shooting foul. It's the sixth team foul. Tennessee now has gone four minutes without a point. Trailing 34-18. Tennessee's going small. Well, no, I'm sorry. I thought he was coming in for AD. He's come, James is coming in for Vescovy. Jeffries to bring it inside front court. State's only fouled four times in the first half. That was the sixth foul on Tennessee. Hubbard. Adu comes way out high to get him. Hubbard pulls up, fires in transition. The ball bounces no good. Tip no good. Adu rebounds. Gives to Ziegler. Ziegler in front court. Connect. Connect. Drives. Stops. Jeffries right on top of him. Now he's being double teamed. Brings it back out to Ziegler. Ziegler sets it up again with 120 to go in the first half. Tennessee's got over four minutes without a point. Connect. Baseline. Loops it out. Adu. Adu gets in the lane. They knock it away. It's loose on the floor. State comes out of there with it. Matthews goes strong against James. He lost the ball. That's loose on the floor. They scramble after it. James dives on top of him. And it'll be Mississippi State's ball on the alternate possession. So both teams have a chance to get a, a bucket in the lane. They turn it over. And it's going to be... Mississippi State ball under the basket with 23 seconds on the shot clock, and they get Smith back into the game. Tennessee has struggled, struggled, struggled shooting the basketball, just 21% in the first half. State to bring it in. Hubbard loops it to Smith in the corner. Smith looks for a guard to come get it. Hubbard does it, brings it back down. Under a minute to go in the first half. Hubbard. Working one-on-one -on -one against a walker. They give it to Davis. Davis fakes. Drives to the basket. Kicks it out. Hubbard. He's got an open three, and he missed it. They tap the rebound. No good. Loose underneath. Adu finally comes out of there with it. Tennessee with the ball. 40 seconds to go in the half. Ziegler in front court. 35 seconds to go. They go to Adu. He goes to the rim. The shot's blocked, and a foul is going to be called. State, I tell you what, they protect the rim. They sure do. That's on Jeffries. Jeffries, that'll be his first foul. So Tennessee has gone five minutes and ten seconds without a point. Now Adu will try and break that as he was fouled in the act of shooting. And they'll have two shots with 34.5 seconds to go in the half. Adu. First free throw on the way is no good. They might want to check that basket. <laughs> I was going to say. That thing might be war warped or something. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. I've never seen Tennessee shoot like this this hand. It's like one of those rims at the fair. Yeah. It's too small. <laughs> yeah. The ball's bigger than the rim. Adu. Second free throw on the way. That's good. Adu gets his third point. And State now takes the timeout. 34.5 seconds remaining in this first half. 
Mississippi State leads Tennessee 34-19. Tennessee, no field goals over the last five minutes and ten seconds. They've got one free throw. This basketball season, enjoy and celebrate with the beverages that support University of Tennessee Athletics. Lighting Chris Truly Hard Seltzer, Coors Light, it's made to chill. Twisted Tea, the original hard iced tea, and ice cold Secchi Cervezas. Available at Food City Center. Remember to celebrate responsibly. 21 means 21. Bert, this crowd is stunned. Yeah. They and are. I think the Tennessee players are stuck. Give State credit. They One thing they can do, they can be physical, and they have protected the rim. Tennessee has tried time after time to get the ball inside, and the State just won't let them do it. Yeah, they, and when they get it in there, they collapse real aggressively, and they, they work their hands hard, and they, they've got long arms. They're physical. They've done a great job on Connect, keeping him out of rhythm. They've double-teamed him every place he's gone, and it's paid dividends as State leads 34-19 with just 34 seconds to go in the first half. Connects out of the game as Tennessee has its best defensive players and the Freddie DeLeon comes in. They lob the ball to Smith. He's been the press release valve for Mississippi State. Hubbard comes across the line. 25 seconds to go in the half. Hubbard out at midcourt, just dribbling the ball with Mayshack on him. Hubbard still has the dribble. We're down to 10 seconds on the shot clock. Hubbard gets the ball to Davis. Now to Matthews. They're going to Tolu. And now Meshack reaches in and fouls with yeah, four seconds on the shot clock. Meshack tried to get a steal a little too aggressive. And the clock stops with 9.3 seconds to go. And Matthews will go to the line. But the only good thing about that is Matthews isn't a very good free throw shooter. No, he is not. That is the seventh team foul on Tennessee, and so Matthews will go to the strike. Matthews has missed his only free throw today. 56% free throw shooter. First one on the way, and that's good. That's the kind of half it's been for Matthews and for Mississippi State. That means he got 11, 12. He's got 11 points. Yeah, he's been big. Matthews is a guy. He's fouled out of four games this year. He's been called for over 100 fouls. So he's very aggressive. Second free throw on the way. That's good. He hit them both. Nine seconds to go. Tennessee trailing 36-19. Connect throws it away. It's stolen by Davis. Davis goes to the basket, banks it off the glass. No, but it's slammed back in by Jones, and that's the end of the half. What a half for Mississippi State. What a dreadful half for the Tennessee Volunteers. As Mississippi State leads at halftime over Tennessee. Our score, the Bulldogs 38, Tennessee 19. Halftime activities, scores, and stats coming up next. This is Tennessee Basketball on the Ball Network. A farm, a family, and a tradition of premium fresh sausage that's lasted almost a century. Using only the freshest ingredients and finest cuts of meat for flavor that is locked in instantly. Each bite of Swaggerty's Farm Sausage transports you back to a warm, cozy southern kitchen. Leaving you satisfied and ready to take on the day. Swaggerty's Farm, quite possibly the best tasting sausage in America. Now available at your local retailers. It's basketball time in Tennessee. Union Place Bar and Grill off Chambliss Avenue in Bearden is the only place to be. 24 TVs, including a 160-inch video wall in the dining room, a game room with billiards, shuffleboard, darts, golden tea, buck hunter, and video poker, and a huge outdoor courtyard perfect for tailgating with beautiful scenery, a covered area, and live music every weekend. You can't lose, unless you don't show up. Union Place Bar and Grill off Chambliss Avenue. Follow them on Facebook for daily specials. Union Place Bar and Grill. This must be the place. Hey, friends, it's Cougar from Rusty Wallace Nissan on Clinton Highway. Brand new Centris, Optimus, Frontiers, and Kicks, all on sale and all ready to go. Everyone knows our new Rogues and Pathfinders are slam dunk deals, but the madness of March also includes Centris, Optimus, Frontiers, and Kicks. Rates from 1.9% APR, all come with our no-charge 200,000-mile warranty, no payments to July 4th, and free oil changes for three years. Folks, don't double dribble on yourself. Come on over to Clinton Highway or shop in those buzzer-beating socks at RustyWallaceNissan.com. The Frog Station, 107.7 WIVK. First matchup between Tennessee and Mississippi State. Tennessee was held to 22 points in the first half, which was the season low until today. 
and Mississippi State holds Tennessee to 19 points in this first half. In fact, Tennessee went the last five minutes and 44 seconds without a field goal, and uh, Mississippi State closes out the first half on a 12 to one run. Bob Kessling, Bert Bertelkamp back with you. Bert. Mississippi State just outplayed Tennessee in the first half. They just took it to us on both ends of the court. They were able to get into the paint and do pretty much what they wanted. We've turned the ball over time and time again. But the worst thing is our shooting percentage has just been it's just been dismal. I'm not sure. 20.6%, 7 out of 34, 2 for 18 from the three-point line. They've done a great job with their defense state. They're, they're, they've scouted Tennessee. They've been in the way constantly. And they've really given Connect a hard time. Yes, Connect has just had a hard time getting things going. He had 28 in the first game against Mississippi State, but Burt, he had 26 of those in the second yeah, half. He can get going, no doubt about it, but Tennessee's got to do something to, to counteract State getting the ball in the paint. They had 28 points to R6 in the paint. They don't shoot the ball that well from the outside. They only took five threes, one for five, but uh, they, they were able to get to the ball inside to Tolu, and they played through him, Jeffries, and Matthews. Matthews led Mississippi State in the first half. He had 12. Tulu Smith only had five, and Hubbard had six. So they controlled those two guys. For Tennessee, the leading scorer, Zakai Ziegler, was six. Dalton Connect with just five. At halftime, here in the SEC quarterfinals, Mississippi State leads Tennessee 38 to 19. Listening to college basketball's most complete network coverage, University of Tennessee Basketball on the Vol Network, with network host John Wilkerson and featuring Burt Bertelkamp and Bob Kessling. Sponsored by Ford. Visit your local Ford dealer. Proud sponsor of the Tennessee Volunteers. By the one bank that's backed the Big Orange for 30 years. First Horizon, the official bank of the Vols. By Axel Logistics, build your empire. By Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee. Complete coverage for every phase of life. By the natural gas utilities and pipeline companies in Tennessee. Natural gas. By ServPro, the number one choice in cleanup and restoration across Big Orange Country. And by Twisted Tea, the original hard iced tea with a twist of lemon. Keep it twisted, Tennessee. Distributed across Tennessee by Cherokee Distributing. Back in 30 seconds. Tennessee basketball is brought to you by the Rusty Wallace family of dealerships. Hyundai, Kia, Nissan, Ford, Honda, Chevrolet, and Toyota. Aubrey's Restaurants, Covenant Health, Fleet Tire, Food City, official supermarket of the Tennessee Volunteers. Gus's World Famous Fried Chicken, Commercial Lighting Supply, Miller Brothers Transmission, Auto Repair and Body Shop, and your volunteer Toyota dealers. A rather miserable opening 20 minutes against Mississippi State for Tennessee to start its action in the SEC tournament. The Bulldogs have doubled up the Big Orange, and at the half, it is Mississippi State 38, Tennessee 19 at the Big Orange scoreboard. I'm John Wilkerson. Tennessee needs to win today against the Bulldogs in order to advance to the semifinals of the Southeastern Conference Tournament tomorrow, March 16th, against either Auburn or South Carolina. Start time will once again be at 1 o'clock for that first uh, game on the schedule. That's 1 o'clock Eastern, noon Central. If Tennessee should advance, the Tennessee tip-off show would come your way at 12.30 p.m. Eastern, 11.30 a.m. Central. A win today, and Tennessee plays in the semifinals tomorrow at Bridgestone Arena in Nashville, but it's an uphill climb and then some. As Tennessee is down 38-19 at the half. Why don't we go ahead and pause 10 seconds for station identification. That's 10 seconds for a station ID from Learfield. This is the Ball Network. Your station for the balls. Radio now. 107.7 WIVK FM. Knoxville. A stimulus media station. WIVK. There's a lot of trash talk in basketball, but great teams let their performance do the talking. Like the Ford F-150 truck with smart tech that'll help win the day and leave the competition speechless. That's why F-150 is the best-selling full-size pickup in Tennessee. Greatness starts here. See your local Ford dealer, proud sponsor of the Vols. Based on S&P Global Mobility Total, U.S. new vehicle registrations for the standard full-size pickup segment RYTD April 2023. Some models, trims, and features may not be available or may be subject to change. Just like a crucial call in a big game, 
The choices we make today will impact tomorrow. Choosing natural gas is the responsible energy choice for your home, your family, for our environment. Natural gas is the cleaner energy choice for Tennesseans, for today and tomorrow. Comfort, dependability, responsibility. Natural gas. This responsible gaming message is brought to you by the Tennessee Lottery. When you play the lottery, it's important to play responsibly. Know your limit and spend only what you can afford. Set a budget and stick to it. And remember, as long as you're having fun, you're always a winner in our book. The Tennessee Lottery is a proud supporter of National Problem Gambling Awareness Month. To learn more about problem gambling resources, visit tnlottery.com. The passion, the tradition, the rivalries. SEC basketball is back on Sirius XM. We've got 24-7 talk and analysis on Sirius XM SEC radio from hosts like me, Chris Childers, Peter Burns, Pat Bradley, and more. As well as live play-by-play. -play. Listen to your favorite team live for $4 per month as long as you're a student. Subscribe now at SiriusXM.com slash SEC Hoops. It's time now to join Farm Bureau Insurance for a drive around the SEC. We're all growing something, and your Farm Bureau agent is there to help you protect it. Farm Bureau Insurance, Tennessee's insurance company, and the official insurance of the Vols. At the half, it's Mississippi State all over Tennessee as the Bulldogs lead the Volunteers 38-19. The rest of the quarterfinal round, the four-seed Auburn takes on the five-seed South Carolina in Game 2. Game three tonight, 7 o'clock Eastern, 6 Central. It's the two-seed Kentucky against the seven-seed Texas A&M. Aggies beat the Wildcats earlier. Auburn beat South Carolina in their lone meeting. And tonight, the day concludes with the three-seed Alabama going up the six seed against the six-seed Florida. Gators and the Crimson Tide split their games during the regular season. As far as what happened earlier, Mississippi State eliminated LSU yesterday, 70-60. South Carolina advanced over Arkansas, 80-66. Texas A&M. Ole Miss 80 to 71, and it was Florida holding off Georgia as the Gators beat the Bulldogs 85 80. Wednesday night in, uh, in overtime, Arkansas outlasted Vanderbilt 90 to 85, and it was Georgia sending Missouri to 0 19 against SEC competition 64 59. And word came out of Nashville yesterday that Jerry Stackhouse has been relieved of his duties. The Commodores moving on in a different direction from their head coach for the last five years in his time with the Commodores. Jerry Stackhouse, 70 and 92 overall, 28 and 60 in SEC play. Again, it's an uphill climb and then some for the Tennessee Volunteers as they trail at the half, 38-19 as you listen to Tennessee basketball on the Ball Radio Network. Hey folks, it's Greg from Rusty Wallace Toyota, and I've got some great news for you. We're having our winter savings sale, and we got a great selection of new Toyotas and some of our best deals ever. Choose from our biggest sellers like Toyota Corolla, Camry, Crown, and the rugged Tundra 4x4 truck, all with 4.99 financing for up to 60 months. And every new Toyota comes with Rusty's exclusive 200,000 mile warranty. Hurry out today, Rusty Wallace Toyota in Morristown. You'll love what you drive. I'll always remember our family vacations in the beautiful Smoky Mountains. We'd rent a cabin, Dad would take us hiking, whitewater rafting, or horseback riding. I really enjoy making this tradition a part of my children's lives. With over 1,500 cabins, campgrounds, and bed and breakfast to choose from, Visit My Smokies is the only site you need to plan your Smoky Mountain getaway. Visit MySmokies.com. Come home to the Smokies and make vacation memories that will last a lifetime. Listen live at WIBK.com. Tennessee down by 19 at the break against Mississippi State for a look at the first 20 minutes inside the numbers. It's like one of those old Christmas specials. A knock on the door. Who is it to do the stats? Vince Ferrara at Bridgestone Arena. Vince? Yeah, I broke in. Somehow security <laughs> failed, and I ended up getting in the building. Thanks, John. Let's take a look at the halftime stats brought to you by Dish. Check the stats. Score big with the best basketball viewing experience only from Dish. Find out more at dish.com slash falls. Obviously not pretty for Tennessee. 7 of 34 shooting in the first half for the Volunteers. That's 21%. Just 2 of 18 from beyond the three-point line at 11%. 3 of 4 from the free-throw line at 75%. 
21 first half rebounds for the balls. Just four assists, nine turnovers, five steals, and one block. Mississippi State, other end of the spectrum. 16 of 26 shooting from the floor at 62%. One of five from beyond the three-point line at 20%. Five of eight from the charity stripe at 63%. 16 first half rebounds for the Bulldogs. Five assists, seven turnovers, five steals, and two blocks. Leading scorer for Tennessee, Zakai Ziegler with six points. Jonas Adu led the way on the glass for the balls with nine rebounds. For Mississippi State, Cameron Matthews, top scorer with a game-high 12 points. Tolu Smith the third, and DJ Jeffries, the top rebounders for Mississippi State with four boards apiece. Other scores for Tennessee in the first half. Jonas Adu, three points to go with his nine rebounds. Dalton Connect, five points and one rebound. Ty Ziegler did not have a rebound and just one assist to go with his six points in the first half. Santiago Vescovi, two points, one rebound. Josiah Jordan James did not score, had five rebounds. Toby Awaka did not score, he had three rebounds. Jemai Meshack did not score, he had one rebound. Freddie DeLeon did not score or have a rebound in 25 seconds. And, jo and Jordan Ganey had three points and no rebounds in the first half. Once again at the half, it's Mississippi State 38 Tennessee 19. You're listening to Tennessee Basketball on the Ball Radio Network. This is John Wilkerson. Are you trying to figure out the new LED lighting options for your commercial building, parking lot, or home? Commercial Lighting Supply in Knoxville stocks the newest and best lighting options available. Whether you're building a home, upgrading an office or warehouse, or just replacing existing lighting, Commercial Lighting Supply has what you need. They carry a full line of LEDs, fluorescents, fixtures, and ballasts in stock. Commercial Lighting Supply has a full team of product experts at 1485 Amherst Road. Call 558-0080. You already know that Miller Brothers Auto Repair offers services from transmissions and engines to oil change and routine maintenance. What you may not know is Miller Brothers Collision Center can handle all your collision repair needs. Our certified technicians will make your damaged car look brand new. We accept all insurance. If you bend it, we can mend it. Miller Brothers is located on Taswell Pike right here in Knoxville, and we're proud supporters of the Tennessee Vols. Call us at 689-5072. That's 689-5072. Hey, East Tennessee, it's Scotty McCreary on the flagship station for the Tennessee Volunteers, WIVK. At the half, Tennessee down big to Mississippi State. Bulldogs lead the Volunteers 38-19. Tennessee, the number five team in the country, number four, North Carolina, meets Pittsburgh in the ACC semifinals. That game goes at 6 o'clock. You've got the number three team in action right now in Purdue. Boilermakers struggling with Michigan State, but Purdue leads 59-56, 110 to go in the game. Number two, Connecticut goes up against St. John's in the semis of the Big East. And top-ranked Houston goes up uh, in the semifinals against Texas Tech in the Big 12. Again, Tennessee able to put together a furious rally when it trailed big at the half at in Starkville. Tennessee has an even higher hill to climb. Bob and Bert have the second half call coming up as you listen to Tennessee basketball on the Vol Network. No one likes the word cancer because it's not just that word. It's others like fear, worry, doubt, battle. But Covenant Health's unmatched cancer care gives you the strength to fear less and be fearless, courageous, confident, hopeful, and resilient. More physicians, more services, and more care closer to you. Covenant Health Cancer Care. Let our strength be yours. Please listen close. New Tellurides, New Tellurides, New Tellurides. The new Tellurides you want is at Rusty Wallace Kia on Alcoa Highway. We have over 20 to choose from, and the price will not be a problem. Do not overpay for your new Telluride. Come to Rusty Wallace Kia on Alcoa Highway, where the selection is great and Tellurides are being sold with no dealer markup. Don't forget, every new Kia sold on Alcoa Highway comes with a no-charge, 200,000-mile warranty. See dealer for details. 107.7 WIVK. Tennessee with work to do. Second half as the Volunteers trail Mississippi State 38-19. They're at halftime at Bridgestone Arena and the SEC Tournament. Bob Kessling, Bert Camp with you. Bert, when you get a score like this, there are all kinds of things you can pick out. 
But Mississippi State, they outscored Tennessee in the paint 28-6. to They only had two offensive rebounds in the first. So it's not like they're getting putbacks, putting them back in. Meanwhile, Tennessee had 11 offensive rebounds, and uh, they only got six points in the paint. Yeah, that's interesting. And, and, and well, only two second-chance points. So we did a good job on the glass, but we just didn't make shots. we got to make shots. We had, only had seven field goals to their 16. Now, their defense had a lot to do with that, but we got to we got to move, cut quicker, get better ball movement, and make them work a little harder on defense. 19-point deficit. Tennessee will have the ball first as Mississippi State leads 38-19. to Tennessee went the last five minutes and 44 seconds of the first half without a field goal. Credit Mississippi State's defense. We'll see what kind of adjustments that Tennessee makes. In the first game, Tennessee trailed at halftime against the Bulldogs 35-22, but they outscored them in the second half 50-42. Ziegler has it first for Tennessee. In the front court, Ziegler on the right side, top of the circle, Adu. Vescovy comes off a pick, top of the circle, backs it up. As again, Matthews has done a great job on connect, fronting him everywhere he goes. Adu gets it top of the key down to Ziegler. Ziegler Fires to James. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Vescovy drives baseline. Fires it off in the corner to Connect. He launches from there and hits. Oh, that's a big shot. Big shot for Connect. Shot clock was rolling down, and he hits from the corner. 38-22. Maybe that'll get Connect started. Smith on the dribble for Mississippi State. Way out at the top of the circle. Smith looks for someone to have come get it. Matthews finally does. Matthews. In traffic, throws the ball to Jeffries, almost threw it away. Jeffries recovers in the corner now to Matthews. Down low to Smith. Smith, double team, lost the ball, and then he runs into Vescovy and fouls him. Great start for Tennessee. That's two on Tolu, isn't it? Correct. So Tennessee gets a bucket, first possession. State fouls, and now Tennessee can work on cutting into what is now a 16-point lead. Ziegler. Dribbles it up. Davis picks him up. Ziegler on the right wing. Top of the circle. Adu. Adu. Hands it back to Vescovy. Vescovy looking for connect. He's running through picks. Turns. Top of the key. Fires it up. That's short. Adu gets the rebound. Gives to connect and he lost the ball. Jeffries comes out of there with it on the steal. He loops it over left side to Davis. He'll launch a three from there. That's short. Smith going for the rebound. I think he pushed off. That's three. Smith pushes off. Trying to get the rebound against... Adu. Couldn't ask for a much better start for Tennessee. You get two fouls on Smith and connect. Hits on a three-point shot. So Tennessee will have the ball with 18.33 to go in the game, trailing 38-22. Tennessee brings it to front court. James, who didn't score in the first half, gets it top of the key. Vescovy on the right wing. Top of the circle, Ziegler. Ziegler. Connect runs the baseline. Comes off a pick to get it down low to James. James almost had it taken away, but he gets it out to Vescovy. Stay really ball hawking. Vescovy gets it off to James. James kicks it out to Ziegler. Thought about a long three. Drives in the traffic. Goes up. Throws up a runner. Wow. Good. Great shot by Ziegler. He got into the paint with that little floater. Sweet. That'll see a good start. They've cut the lead down to 14. Five straight points. And got their go-to guy out of the game. Matthews looks down low for Bell. Stead goes out top of the circle to Hubbard. Hubbard pulls up, launches, long range, rattles, no. Rebound, no. Matthews. Matthews in the lane has the ball taken away, but it goes out to Davis. Davis gives to Hubbard. Floater off the glass. That's no good. James rebounds. Tennessee scored the first five here in the second half, and now the balls have the ball in front court. Vescovy stutter step. Pulls up in the lane, gives it out to Ziegler. Ziegler, he drives, gets to the baseline, drops it off to Connect underneath. Connect's double teamed and fouled. And the foul is going to be on Matthews, I believe. Yep, that'll be his first. Well, Bert, Tennessee's been much of the aggressor this second half. No doubt. They've had some success on the offensive end. Got two big buckets. And a couple of big fouls on Tolu Smith, who's on the bench with three. Yeah, that's huge. Tennessee to bring it in. Under the goal, gives to Adu. Adu out to Ziegler. Ziegler drops it off. Adu on the left block against Bell. 
Out to Vestavy. Hit that, hit that. Wide open three. No good. Couldn't get a better look. No. Jeffries rebounds for Mississippi State. Now to Matthews. Puts his head down. Goes to the basket and scores. I don't think I've ever seen Matthews play better. Man, he's taking it to the rack, isn't he? 40-24 State. Ziegler in front court. Three minutes in, second half. Ziegler gives to Vescovy. Vescovy back to Ziegler on the left wing. Three-point range. Ziegler drops it off to Adu. Back to Ziegler. Back to Adu, and he lost the ball. State's got numbers. Hubbard gets it off. Jeffries goes all the way under the basket. Brings it out front to Davis. Davis attacks. Goes to the rim. Drops it off underneath to Bell. Lost it. It's still fighting for it, and Vescovy takes it away from him. Vescovy gets the ball in front court for Tennessee. Vescovy loops it down low. Adu lays it up and in. Great play. Great pass by Vescovy. Adu scores. Now the crowd trying to urge on Tennessee's defense a bit. 40-26. Mississippi State has got the lead on the ball. Matthews gives to Davis. Davis stutter steps against Vescovy. Gets it out to Matthews. Matthews on the dribble on the wing. And on a whistle. And I they call Matthews an offensive foul as he threw a hip check against Vescovy who came around trying to fight over the top. That's another tough call on Mississippi State. And it's in Tennessee's benefit. And the balls get the ball. Timeout. 15-54 to go. The balls have cut it down to 14. Our score with a timeout is Mississippi State 40, Tennessee 26. Tennesseans are concerned about inflation. But did you know natural gas is still the most affordable way to heat your home, dry your clothes, and cook your food? There's something special about natural gas. Warmth, comfort, and economy. Plenty of hot water. Always reliable performance. That's why Tennessee is powered by natural gas. Yesterday, today, tomorrow. Natural gas. 10 feet. It's not just the distance between the floor and the rim. It's a proving ground where the hopes and dreams of every basketball player are born. But here in Tennessee, 10 feet takes on new meaning with checkerboard baselines, the rocky top rowdies, and the heart-pounding excitement of 20,000 screaming fans. Yes, 10 feet will always be 10 feet, but the volunteer spirit never stops growing. Farm Bureau Insurance, Tennessee's insurance company and the official insurance of the Vols. For me, college wasn't a given. The concern of cost kept me from considering four-year schools until I heard about UT Promise, a scholarship covering tuition and mandatory fees for qualifying students with a household income below $75,000 a year. Skeptical but hopeful, I applied to two University of Tennessee system schools and was accepted to both. As a person with limited financial resources, choices are rare. The freedom of choice is powerful, and UT Promise gave that to me. Explore your choices at Tennessee.edu. It's time to get a dose of Tennessee basketball and grab a dose sickies, the refreshing lager that's perfect for celebrating one of college basketball's greatest fan traditions, the proud tradition of drinking beer. Dos Equis Golden Pilsner-style beer is perfect for celebrating with friends all over Big Orange Country. So this season, grab a dose of Tennessee basketball and Dos Equis, always available at Food City Center. Proud sponsor of Tennessee basketball. Enjoy Dos Equis responsibly. Imported by Cervezas Mexicanas, White Plains, New York. This is the Vol Network, and you're tuned in to Tennessee Basketball at the SEC Basketball Tournament. Tennessee off to a good start. Second half, they've outscored Mississippi State 7-2. They've got a couple of fouls on Tolu Smith, who's now on the bench with three. And uh, Burt, Tennessee's trying to wrestle this momentum away from Mississippi State. Yeah, they're going to have they're going to struggle to score without Tolu in the game. They run everything through him. He gets a lot of attention from the defense. Now Tennessee doesn't have to worry as much about him. Bell's not near the threat. And they don't really have outside shooters outside other than Hubbard. So when they, when they collapse inside, they throw it out, Tennessee's able to recover. And we've been able to get some shots to go, too, which is big. But having Tolu out is huge for Tennessee. And we'll see how long Chris Jans wants to keep him out. But the other interesting matchup in this game, I think, has just been the, the battle between Connect and they've got Matthews and also Jeffries fronting him every place he goes, and yeah. it's been effective. They've done a good job with him. They, they face guard him. They're not interested in helping out. They're just interested in keeping the ball away from him. Then when he gets it, they run two or three people at him, try to get him to give it up, and it's been effective so far. 
Tennessee's running connect off baseline, cuts, trying to get him to curl around and, and lose the defense. State shooting 57% from the field. Tennessee does 26% so far. And Tennessee is 3 of 21 at three-point range. Mississippi State 1 of 7. State leads it 40-26. Tennessee's got the ball. 15-54 to go. Ziegler dribbles it up. Davis picks him up at midcourt. Ziegler to James. James looks, gives to connect. Top of the key. Jeffries chasing him. Uh, connect drives. Puts one off the glass. Good. I wow. think Jeffries got a piece of that one. High off the glass and it banks in. That was a prayer answered right there now. Ten points for connect. And now the Tennessee crowd again getting into it. Matthews. He drives on James. Loops it back to Jeffries. Now back to Hubbard. Top of the key. A tough, long three-pointer is good. No Man, get alive. him going. Whoa. Tough shot. 43-28. He was still moving sideways when he left that thing go up to the top of the circle. 43-28. He's a great shooter. Got nine points. James holds it. Hands it back to Vescovy. Now to connect. Jeffries has him out front. Gets a pick. Connect drives, gets down the lane, little scoop layup, rolls off the rim, but Connect taps it in, and they're going to wipe it off. Goaltender. Yeah. It was on the rim. They'll check it. But it looked like it was on the rim as Connect went to tap in his missed shot. Tennessee bench isn't complaining about it. Yeah, it was on it the was rim. Yeah, it was definitely in the cylinder. As you show it to the crowd here, the Tennessee fans, as you expect, boo, and the Mississippi State fans cheer. 43-28. Mississippi State led at halftime by 19. We played five minutes in the second half. Full court pressure again. Matthews barely got the ball inbound. Then he gives to Hubbard. Hubbard streaks to the basket, lays it up, and it's going to be blocked by Awaka. They're going to call that a goal 10. Yeah, it hit the board first. It wasn't going to go in, I don't think, but because it hit the board. He hit it after it hit the board. They're calling goal 10. They can check that one, too. 45-28. State has built the lead back up to 17. Hubbard, was, besides being strong, he is really quick, isn't he? Oh, he's a jet. That was definitely a uh, goal 10 as it hit the backboard first. And then a walk hit it. 45-28. State has withstood the first assault by Tennessee, and they built the lead back up to 17. Ziegler way out front launches a bomb. That's no good. And the rebound to Matthews. I'm not sure that's the shot Tennessee needed right there. Matthews in front court. Matthews gets around. Vescovy goes to the rim, puts it up, no good, and he's fouled by a walker. We need to get that third foul on Matthews if we can. He's killing us. A walker picks up the foul. That's his first. Bert, everybody debates, is it better to have double buys or do you want to get in the tournament and play a game? Well, Mississippi State played a great second half, and they've carried it over into this game. They sure have. And uh, Tennessee has been slow starting. Matthews, again, continues to have a big game. He hits his 15th point. He had three against LSU. And State has built the lead back up to 18. It's 46-28 to 28 with 14-24 remaining. Matthews. Only a 56% free throw shooter. He's three out of four in this game. Second free throw, Matthews. That's good. He's having a big-time game for the Bulldogs. 47-28. And the lead is back up to 19 with 14-20 to go. Ziegler gives to connect. Jeffries right with him. Connect goes baseline. Fires a pass cross court to Ganey. Now to Ziegler. Back to Connect. Turns. Fires a three. And that's going to bounce. No good. Tip no good. Ball's loose and Hubbard gets it. Outlet pass down the floor. Goes to Jeffries. Thought about a three, but they'll slow it up. Moore. The trailer gives it back to Matthews. Burt State's going to, they're going to milk this clock. Yeah, so. they are. They're going to take their time. And they got Matthews out here running the point for them. And Hubbard running around trying to get open. Mayshack guarding Matthews. Drives him into the lane. Spins. Lost the ball going to the hoop. And they're going to say Matt Mayshack hit it last. He's going to over. No, Pat Adams. Well, they, he just pointed the wrong way. Burnett yeah. pointed the wrong way. It's going to be Tennessee ball. Yeah. That was obvious. Stayed on a 7-0 run as the lead balloons back out to 19. But I'll tell you what, the job that uh, Jeffries and Matthews have done on Connect 
now it's quieted standing. this crowd. That's quieted to this crowd. Is now they got a new man coming in to guarding number five. Who's that? Jones. Yeah, Jones. Sean Jones. They're keeping fresh legs on him. He's not as big. Connect may be able to post him up or take him to the basket off the dribble. Yeah, Jones is 6'5". Tennessee with the ball in front court. Ziegler calls out the play. Ziegler gets a pick from Awaka. Ziegler drives in traffic, pulls up at the free throw line. Drops it off down low to Awaka. It's knocked away and stolen. That's a bad pass. State gets another steal. Hubbard in front court. Hubbard picks up the dribble, gives to Moore. Moore. Back out to Hubbard near midcourt. Hubbard drives on Ziegler. Fakes, pulls up. A runner is going to be no good, but a foul is called on Ziegler. Hubbard just stop and go, stop and go, and finally got Ziegler to run into him. Ziegler picks up his second foul. He's a north and south guy, though, I tell you. He he likes to go in in, to the basket if he can, Hubbard. Five-time SEC freshman of the week. Of course, he's the all-freshman team, second team all-SEC. SEC, 83% free throw shooter. And he makes the first one. Birdie scored 4,367 points in high school. Good grief. <laughs> Madison, Mississippi. He committed to Ole Miss, and then when they had a coaching change, he came to Mississippi State, and the Bulldogs are glad he did. He hits both free throws. And the lead swells now to 21, the biggest state has had today. 49-28. Mississippi State in a stunner here in Nashville. Ziegler in front court. Gives to Awaka. Now to Connect. Connect glides down the lane. Lost the ball going to the rim. Matthews fouled him. That's three on Matthews. That's a big call. They're going to see he was going to the basket. And so it'll be a two-shot foul. So Connect to the line. This will be his first free throw attempt of the day. 75% 75% free throw shooter. First one on the way, good. 11 points for Connect. Cuts the lead back to 20, 49-29. Matthews coming out, but Jeffries is back in, and Jeffries has done a good job on him. Jeffries, six seven, very physical, and he's been able to body up on Connect. Connect's got 11 points. He'll try one more. Connect for his 12th point on the way, and good. State rotating guys as Jimmy Bell comes in and Jones will sit down. 49-30. That was the halftime advantage. State. Davis up court. As they flip the ball to Murphy, and now the Bulldogs will start the offense, and they'll take their time. Murphy, top of the key. Murphy drives, spins against Connect, goes to the basket, and loops it up with the left hand. Wow. Excellent. Where'd that come from? Yeah. 51-30. Mississippi State, Connect, drives to the basket. The ball knocked away by Bell, and it's out of bounds. It's good defense. Yep, Bell just stood there with his hands up and Connect. Couldn't get the shot to the rim. It goes out of bounds off of Mississippi State. 12-29 to go. Tennessee trailing 51-30. Ziegler will throw it in. Ziegler. Oh, he missed a dude. Yep, he did. He'll throw it way out to midcourt to Meshack. Shot clock at 19. Connect. Top of the key. He's going to launch a long three. Missed it. Meshack gets the rebound. Puts it back up and in. He's fouled by Bell. Great play by Meshack. Offensive put back. Big time play. And Meshack will go to the line trying to get a three-point play. 51-32, Mississippi State. Meshack, 71% free throw shooter. Meshack takes his time, spins it, lets it fly. Got it. Big three-point play by Meshack. Right now, Every point critical for Tennessee. Ball's trail at 51-33. Full court pressure again. State trying to get it in bounds. They finally do to Bell. That was close to being a five-second call. Davis dribbles it up for the Bulldogs. It has been Mississippi State's pace from the very start today. Davis crosses over against Ganey. 
Goes to the basket, lays it up, and, and a little alley-oop pass to Moore is good. An alley-oop to a 6-2 guy. Yeah, Moore lays it in. If that, he may not even be 6-2. 53-33, Ziegler splits a double team and lost the ball. Turnover, Moore breaks it to front court, decides to slow it up. Bell gets the pass on the left block. Bell muscles Adu, gets inside, lays it off the glass, good. State taking it to Tennessee right now. 55-33. And Coach Barnes takes a timeout. Bert, this has been stunning. It has been. Mississippi State played as well as it can play, and Tennessee struggling to score. Bulldogs are shooting 63% from the floor. Tennessee is now shooting just 27%. The Bulldogs have hit their last six shots, and they built the lead up to 22. Timeout, 11.37 to go in the game. Our score from Nashville, Mississippi State 55, Tennessee 33. Back in a moment, this is Tennessee Basketball on the Ball Network. We're here at Rusty Wallace Hyundai where it's always a fun day. Here with Brandon Chaffin. What kind of specials you got going on here at Rusty Wallace hey, Hyundai? We had the biggest weekend we've had all year long, so we're going to carry on those savings. We've got new 2024 Elantra starting at just $21,000 for a new Elantra. Plus, we've got the all-new Santa Cruz, just $26,000. Plus, if you drive a brand-new Hyundai today, you get a $50 gift card just for taking one around the block. Come on out and see us at Rusty Wallace Hyundai where it's always a fun day. Are you looking for... For a church family where you can connect with others and feel at home, you're invited to be our guest this Sunday at Grace Baptist Church, 7171 Oak Ridge Highway in the Carnes community. There are two services at 9 a.m. and 1030. We have something for every member of your family. See us on social media at Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. We can't wait to see you at Grace Baptist Church. For more information, visit our website at gracebc.org. Nothing makes sports better than mouth-watering food. Drive down Sutherland Avenue or Lovell Road, pull over to that fresh, amazing smell coming from Gus's world-famous fried chicken, and you'll find that out for a fact. Gus's still fries chicken the way it was meant to be, using their proprietary 50-year-old recipe out of Mason, Tennessee. It's so good that GQ magazine named Gus's one of the top 10 meals worth flying for in the U.S. If you love fried chicken and what Vol fan doesn't, you have to try Gus's world-famous fried chicken. Game day packs and catering available. Open seven days a week. 107.7 WIBK Hey ball fans, March tournament basketball has arrived and now it's time to march into French's Shoes and Boots for a special limited time giveaway. Family owned French's Shoes and Boots and Ariot are teaming up to give away a free pair of boots a day for 20 days this month. All you have to do is march into one of French's 14 locations across the Volunteer State to register to win. March into French's proud sponsor of Tennessee Athletics. 55-33, Mississippi State has come in and dominated this game, quieted the crowd, and uh, Bert, they got a win yesterday against LSU, and they just carried that right into this one. They're playing with a ton of confidence right now. Their defense is working. They've been more aggressive. They force us into 13 turnovers. And they, they're getting the ball inside where they want to score, and they're killing us in the paint. And they're doing this really without Tolu Smith, who picked up two quick fouls in the half. Tennessee had been on a run, cut the lead down to 14, and they've built this lead now to 22 without Tolu Smith in the game. And Matthews has been out here recently. He got picked up his third foul. So, yeah, you're right. Everybody's contributing for State. The Bulldogs trying to advance to the semifinals. Mississippi State has won this tournament three times in 96, 2002, and 2009. Overall, tournament champions in the SEC. Kentucky has won it 32 times. Alabama is second with eight victories, and Tennessee is third with five. Connect out of the game for Tennessee, getting a rest. Somebody's got to pick up some scoring here as Tennessee's trailing 55-33. James will bring it in. Pass goes to Ziegler. And now Meshack comes out front. State's gone into a zone. Top of the key, Meshack. Meshack now to Ziegler. The James, free throw line extended, turns, fires, misses. Rebound tapped out to Moore. Moore from Mississippi State brings it into front court. Kicks it off right side. Davis a three, no good. Kind of a quick shot that time. I don't think that's one James wanted. But Tennessee gets the rebound and brings it to front court. Ziegler, top of the circle. 
Ziegler gets it to Vescovy. He drives baseline, double team. Looks down low to Edu. He catches, hooks it over the left hand, and he missed. Jeffries can't gets buy a buck. Can't buy one. Tennessee has picked a bad day to have its worst shooting game of the season. Down to 26%. Tennessee just one of its last seven from the field. Moore in front court for Mississippi State. The Bulldogs lead 55-33. Murphy hands it back. Spinning. Jeffries, five seconds on the shot clock. Top of the key, puts up a three, no good. Ziegler rebounds for Tennessee. Ball's got to pick up the tempo. Meshack. Gives to Ziegler out front. Connects on the bench right now for Tennessee. Right side, James. Down low to Adu. Adu kicks it off. His pass deflected, but Vescovy gets it in the corner. Now to James. Drives to the basket. Double teamed. Out to Vescovy. Vescovy. Step back three on the way, and that's no good, but he gets fouled as Davis ran into him. He bailed us out on that one. Sure Davis did. did. That shot was nowhere near going in. But Vescovy now will go to the line. And have a chance to shoot three free throws. By the way, they checked those two goal tens. But that happened earlier in this half, and both were confirmed they were goal tens. So, got the baskets for State. Timeout. This is the under-12 break with 10-11 to go in the game. Our score from Nashville is Tennessee trailing Mississippi State 55-33. Back in a moment, this is Tennessee basketball on the Vol Network. Now is when I need to seriously save. Quality and more for less is what I crave. Food City feels the crunch. They know the struggle is real. That's why their high-quality store brands are such a great deal. Food Club, Simply Done, and Craven are just a few. Store brands are hiding in plain sight if you only knew. This is the break I needed. Thanks for this ditty. Now I know nobody does food like Food City. Hey, it's Tennessee. It's Chad at Rusty Wallace Honda. It's March, so let the madness begin. You won't get your bracket busted when you score one of these. A 2024 Accord Hybrid Sport or a 2024 front-wheel drive CRV Hybrid Sport. Your choice, only $359 a month. Or get a game changer, like a 2024 Pilot EXL, only $439 a month. It's loaded with leather and all-wheel drive. So don't miss your shot at the best Honda lineup in the entire area. The intersection of selection, Rusty Wallace Honda, I-75 at Callahan Drive. See dealer for details. Are you thinking? About repairing or replacing your garage door? Think no longer. Service Plus Garage Doors motto says it all. To some, it's just a garage door. To us, it's our reputation. Providing excellent service to East Tennesseans for over 10 years with a full line of garage door services. Whether you're a homeowner, builder, or subcontractor, they do it all. You can always count on knowledgeable trained technicians and a professional, helpful staff. Check out the largest showroom in the area with 10 full-size garage doors. Schedule a free quote at 865-908-4824 and check out customer reviews and service discounts at serviceplusgaragedoors.com. Hey, East Tennessee, it's Kane Brown on the flagship station for the Tennessee Volunteers, 107.7 WIVK. Santiago Vestfield going to the line to shoot in a moment. Uh, Tennessee trails Mississippi State 55-33. Bob Kessling, Bert Bertelkamp with you. Glenn Thaxton producing. Tim Berry engineering. Dave Jeffries at the Big Orange scoreboard. John Wilkerson doing double duty. He's down in Tuscaloosa getting ready for baseball tonight, but he's also manning the Big Orange scoreboard, getting us caught up to date with college basketball. Uh, the turnovers, Tennessee 13, Mississippi State with 11. Points in the paint again, Burke, 38 to 14. State's just taking it to the basket time after That's time. That's a huge advantage. And Tennessee's shooting 25% from the field. State shooting almost 60%. So there's the difference in the game. They're getting the ball inside where they want to operate, and they've been successful. And uh, and we're not really. We we're not. We've gotten some good looks. We just can't get it to go. It's one of those days. Usually our defense can get us back into the game, but so far today it hasn't been able to do that. No, and Bert, the, there's still 10 minutes to go, but. The way Mississippi State plays, they shorten the game. Yeah. They're going to take most of that 30 seconds on every possession. So you, now it comes down to Tennessee, you've got the ball. You better score because uh, you're not going to have that many more possessions. That's left. right. you got to make shots. Santiago Vescovi to the line. He has two points today. Josiah Jordan-James has yet to score. Dalton connect with 12. Ziegler with 8. They brought Tolu back in along with Hubbard and Jeffries. Yeah. They're Moore going. and uh, Murphy's out there. Yeah, Murphy. That's going to be at the line. He'll have three free throws. First one is no good. 
there's an absolute lid on the basket for Tennessee. Tennessee's basket. Tennessee now six of eight at the line. Vescovy, second one. That's good. That's his third point of the day. He's making his 143rd start for Tennessee. Most in Tennessee history. Third one is good. He makes two out of three. Tennessee can set up the press. 55-35. State by 20. They get it in bounds in backcourt to Jeffries. Jeffries. On the dribble. Tennessee's got his own trap. And Jeffries says, I'll just bring it up myself. Yeah, he's got a do on him. Hubbard gets it out by midcourt. Hubbard with Vescovy on him. Bulldogs spread the floor more. Gets around Ziegler. Back taps it out of bounds. Saved a layup. Yep, saved a layup. It'll still be state basketball. Moore blew around Ziegler, and then he back tapped it out of bounds as Moore was headed to the basket. That has been State's basic idea all day. Take it to the basket. Moore kicks it over to Hubbard. He turns, launches a three, and drills it. He's a player. Boy, he sure is. What a great shooter. 58-35, Mississippi State. 9.40 to go. Ziegler. Top of the key goes to James. James. Out front, Meshack now to Ziegler. He's going to launch a three. Long distance, good. Money. Ziegler hits from out front. Tennessee needed that. 58-38, the lead is 20. Hubbard gets the pass. 9.20 to go. Hubbard brings it across the line against Ziegler. State taking its time. Pass to Moore. Now to Murphy. Now whistle and Vescovy gets another call. That's, that's and as Moore runs into him. That wasn't much there. Vescovy goes down and picks up the foul. Tennessee will take it. They need every whistle they can get right now. 909 to go. 58-38. Mississippi State. State has led from the start. Game was tied at two. Ziegler, the Adu top of the key, out of Vescovy. Vescovy holds the ball against Jeffries, brings it back out front, top of the circle. Left side, Mayshack. Drives to the corner. Mayshack brings it back out, Ziegler. Ziegler, stutter steps, working on Jeffries, gives to Vescovy. Long three on the way is no good. Missed everything. Ball loose underneath Matthews and Awaka. They scramble for it. Jump ball. Alternate possession goes to Mississippi State. Bert Vescovy's really off oh, today. He, Those strokes are really off the mark. That wasn't even close. He's one for six. 0 for four from three-point range. Moore. Now to Hubbard. He'll bring it up for Mississippi State. As State got it on the alternate possession. Hubbard, now to Jeffries, drives, gets to the basket, brings it back down. State's going to be very deliberate with the basketball as we get down to eight and a half minutes. Matthews, top of the circle, dribbles left wing, gets it down low to Tulu Smith. And we're going to call a walk on a push from behind. Second foul on a walk -a. battling Tolu Smith down low. That'll give State... Fresh 20 seconds on the shot clock. Dalton Connect comes in for Tennessee, and Meshack goes out. 58-38, Mississippi State. Hubbard gets it in bounds to Matthews in the corner. He brings it out to the wing. He's going to get down low for Smith. And Vescovy's going to foul Matthews driving to the basket. Vescovy picks up his third. Burke. Time after time, put your head down, go to the hoop. Good that, things happen. That's what they're doing. No doubt. 58-38, Mississippi State. And now they're going to get Jimmy Bell into the game as they take Tolu Smith out and make sure he doesn't pick up a foul here. State's hit seven of its last nine field goal attempts, and the lead is back out to 20. State trying to get it in bounds. They loop it to a Bell. Bell. Dribbles back out and hands it to Moore. Stayed in no hurry. Jeffries, right wing. Jeffries looks low. Lobs it down low to Bell, working on Adu. Bell takes him in the lane. Bell turns, muscles up at left hand, no good, but draws a foul. 
Strong move. Yep. He went strong at Adu. And Adu fouled him. And that'll take us to the under eight break. Time running out on Tennessee here in the SEC quarterfinals. State will shoot when we come back. 7.56 to go in this one. State pulling off a stunner as they lead Tennessee 58-38. Back in a moment. This is Tennessee basketball on the Vol Network. It's just a few cocktails at happy hour. There aren't any cops around. After every game, we always have a few. It's no big deal. It was just a few drinks. I'm good. Hey, I can hold my liquor. I drink and drive all the time. If you put away some drinks, put away your keys. Fans don't let fans drive drunk. Brought to you by the Tennessee Highway Safety Office. The madness has begun. Hey, guys, it's Mark from Rusty Wallace Chevrolet in Clinton. You can score big with these deals. New Equinox, only $28.8 or $3.99 a month. Or how about a new four-wheel drive crew cab Silverado, only $44.7, or enjoy 2.9% for 72 months. And don't forget, all new Chevys come with Rusty's exclusive 200,000-mile warranty. So together we ride at Rusty Wallace Chevrolet in Clinton or visit us online at RustyWallaceChevrolet.com, where Chevys cost less. Are you having trouble finding the right house in this market? Hi, I'm Billy Houston. The Billy Houston Group has experienced agents that have the knowledge and the connections to help you find the right house. The Tennessee Vols use their experience to bring home this year's SEC title. That shows experience does matter. Call Knoxville's Experienced Realtor Group and use us to your advantage. 865-577-SOLD. Go Vols! Real estate is a people business. The Billy Houston Group. 107.7 WIVK. The Frog Station. At the Big Orange Scoreboard, I'm John Wilkerson in the Big Ten Tournament quarterfinals. Number three, Purdue, a winner over Michigan State as the Boilermakers advance past the Spartans 67 to 62. It's either quarterfinal or semifinal round elsewhere. Semifinals of Conference USA. Texas El Paso leads Sam Houston 64-61. That's with 11 seconds to go in the game. Quarterfinals, the American. It's East Carolina against South Florida. The Bulls look awfully good, leading the Pirates 78-48, 5-29 to go in that game. And good luck to Middle Tennessee. The Blue Raiders take on the Hilltoppers from Western Kentucky in the other semifinal at Conference USA later this afternoon. Bob? Hey, John, we've got some... Uh rain coming in here in Nashville. How's the weather down there in Tuscaloosa? Are you going to be able to play tonight? Had storms this morning, and it looks like everything is going to clear out, hopefully, by first pitch. So, it is a grass field. Don't know if everything's going to be tended to, but everything points to it being on schedule. All right. Well, hope Tennessee has a better day than the volunteer basketball team's having right now, as Tennessee trails 58-38 to Mississippi State. Bert, the one staff, there's several staffs that just, you just really can't believe, but Tennessee is 4 of 26 from three-point range. Yeah, that's that's really, really soft, and uh, some of those have been really good looks. They just can't get them to go, and they're still pounding the paint 38 to 14. But we can't make a shot. I yeah. mean, you can't win if you don't make shots, obviously, and we're struggling to score. Connect is 4 of 14 from the field. Ziegler, 4 of 12. James is 0 for 4. That's going to be one for six. Bell at the line. J.P. Estrella is coming into the game for Tennessee. Bell to the line. Bell has six points today. And he'll fire the first one, and he makes it. That's, Bert, that's another bonus they've got. He's, he's a big guy, 6'10". He comes in and bangs yeah. and plays for Tolu Smith. But those are seven points that I guess they weren't even counting on. Yeah. They're counting more on five fouls than seven points. Yeah. Second free throw by Bell is good. He's having a really big day for them with eight points. And the lead now is 60-38, to 38, Mississippi State over Tennessee. Estrella, top of the key. We're under eight minutes to go. Connect with Jeffries right in his shorts. With him every step of the way. Connect gives it over to Ziegler. Ziegler throws it inside. Meshack turns a little 10-footer, bounces in. I got the touch. Meshack gets the bucket. His second of the day. 60-40. State trying to get it in bounds. They do as Bell comes back to help out. Now they hand it to Hubbard. Hubbard said, I'll take it, and he brings it up. Seven and a half to go. 60-40, Mississippi State. State spreads the floor. Moore 
Left side against Meshack. Drop it down low to Bell against the freshman Estrella. Bell backs him down. Gets across the lane. Hooks it up. Missed it. Rebound Meshack. Tennessee down 20 with the ball. Connect in front court. Connect. Drives. Gets in traffic. Flips off in the corner to James. James whips it to Meshack. Pull up from 10 is good. Meshack keeping us alive. Meshack has seven. Big bucket. 60-42. Bert, I just remember the North Carolina game when Tennessee was way down and made that really furious comeback at the end. Does Tennessee have one more in them? It's doable. Under Gotta seven get stops, to go. Yep. Gotta get stops. Six and a half to go. Hubbard against Ziegler. Top of the circle. Fakes. Has to pick up his dribble. Now gives to Jeffries. Jeffries. Five seconds on the shot clock. Jeffries. Looks down low. Fires it over to Moore. Moore. Knocked to the basket. Lays it up. No good. James had the rebound. Knocked out of bounds. As Bell knocked it away from him. And the ball goes back to Tennessee. That's a good stop. State took 30 seconds off the clock, but they didn't score. And now Tennessee with a deficit staring them in the face of 60-42. to 42. Ziegler pulls up, palms a three. And wow, hits. what a shot by Ziegler. Money. Ziegler, a long palm out front. And Tennessee trying to mount a comeback. 60-45. State gets it in bounds. Jeffries double teamed in backcourt. Jeffries splits the double team. Fires a pass in the front court to Bell. They've got Smith standing at the scorer's table waiting to come in. Matthews comes back to get it. 5.40 to go. Tennessee trailing by 15 points. Hubbard. Top of the key gives to Matthews. Matthews, back to Hubbard, seven seconds. Hubbard, he's going to launch a bomb from way out front, no good. But Matthews flies in to get the rebound. Matthews, double teamed, gets in the corner, needs help. He throws it off a knee, and then it bounces off Matthews' knee. He threw it off Ziegler, and then it bounced off Matthews. <laughs> it worked out great for Tennessee. Yep, Tennessee gets the ball back. Now Tennessee on a 7-0 run. And they've cut the lead down to 15. Zakai Ziegler brings it to front court. Connect is back into the game for Tennessee. Mayshack, double teamed at midcourt. Mayshack needs help, gives to Ziegler. Ziegler kicks it over to James, back to Ziegler. Another three on the way. Good again. Money. 17 now for Ziegler, back-to-back -back threes. Ziegler's leading the way. And Tennessee has life. Got it to 12. And a timeout, Mississippi State. Burt, those back-to-back three-pointers, they get you back in a game in a hurry. They're huge, they? both in the same spot. And Ziegler's showing leadership right now, keeping us alive. This is a 10-0 run, fueled by Zakai Ziegler. Well, Burt, you mentioned there's plenty of time left. Oh, yeah. No doubt. Five minutes exactly remaining. I mean, it was 22 just a second ago they were up. was. Sure was. They led 60 to 38. At the conclusion of the game, we'll announce the Advance Auto Parts player of the game, Adventure Auto at Advance Auto Parts. And for one thing to remember, Mississippi State is not a good free throw shooting team. Only at 67%. So fouling them down the stretch is not the worst thing that can happen to you. Well, they're playing a little bit to not to lose now. They haven't been there yeah. as aggressive the last few minutes as they had been. Now they're on their heels a little bit. Estrella stays into the game for Tennessee. As they do is on the bench. So we'll see if Estrella, the freshman, can give Tennessee a spark. Ziegler is at back-to-back -back threes. Tennessee has cut it to 12. State's trying to get it in bounds. And they do to Matthews. Matthews gives it over to Davis, who's come back into the game. Davis. Against Ziegler as he comes to front court. Davis bounces the ball to Hubbard. Hubbard back to Matthews. And they give it on left side to Jeffries at three-point range. Smith working hard down low against the freshman. Kick it out top of the key, Matthews. And they try to get it down low, and Estrella is going to be holding Smith down low. Tough assignment for Estrella. Yeah, that's that'll reset the shot clock. To, they're not shooting it. Sixth team foul on Tennessee. State's got eight. But State gets a fresh 20 seconds. 4.36 remaining. And State leads Tennessee 60-48. to 48. 
Inbounds pass. Goes to Davis, top of the circle. Smith's going to come out and set a pick. Davis going to drive against Connect. Goes to the basket. Throws it off the side of the backboard. And Tennessee rebounds with James. Mayshack quickly in front court. Gives to Ziegler. Does he have another one inning? Mayshack top of the key. Connect. He'll fire a three. And that's off the side of the rim and it goes out of bounds. Bert, well, you had a good expect, look. Yeah, you expect Connect to make those. I yeah. mean, we're spoiled. Yeah, we are spoiled. It was a great look. It was a great look. Connect. Two for eight today at three-point range. We need to force him into a turnover right here. We got him throwing it in a difficult place to get it in. In the corner, they can't run the baseline. They get it inbounds to Jeffries. Ziegler had him, and so Jeffries has a size advantage, about eight inches. They just threw it up, and he caught it. State, they've slowed it down, but they haven't scored much recently. Tennessee on a 10-0 run. Under four minutes to go. Matthews out front to Davis. Davis. Loops the ball in the corner. Long three-point shot. It's going to be good by Jeffries. That's a backbreaker. Yeah, that hurt. 63-48. State back up by 15. Ziegler splits the defense. A little floater down the lane. Bounces no good. They tip it, and Matthews comes out of there with it. Throws it up toward Jeffries. Jeffries runs it down and lays it in. Five straight points by Jeffries. And State now suddenly is back out in front. 65-48. Connect. Drives down low, whistle, and a reach in foul is going to be called on Matt, uh, Matthews, I believe, on the reach in. So, State with a flurry, five points by Jeffries, and the lead balloons back out to 17. Timeout here at Bridgestone Arena with timeout our score as Mississippi State 65, Tennessee 48. There's a lot of trash talk in basketball, but great teams let their performance do the talking. Like the Ford F-150 truck with smart tech that'll help win the day and leave the competition speechless. That's why F-150 is the best-selling full-size pickup in Tennessee. Greatness starts here. See your local Ford dealer, proud sponsor of the Vols. Based on S&P Global Mobility Total, U.S. new vehicle registrations for the standard full-size pickup segment RYTD April 2023. Some models, trims, and features may not be available or may be subject to change. Now is when I need to seriously save. Quality and more for less is what I crave. Food City feels the crunch. They know the struggle is real. That's why their high-quality store brands are such a great deal. Food Club, Simply Done, and Craven are just a few. Store brands are hiding in plain sight if you only knew. This is the break I needed. Thanks for this ditty. Now I know nobody does food like Food City. For 75 years, Farm Bureau Insurance has proudly served Tennesseans by helping them protect what matters most. UT Athletics and the Vol Network are thrilled to celebrate this milestone alongside them. It's a story of Tennesseans coming together to support each other. And that's what Farm Bureau Insurance is all about. Tennesseans helping Tennesseans. When it comes to insurance, choose the one that's proudly rooted in the volunteer state. Farm Bureau Insurance, Tennessee's insurance company, and the official insurance of the Vols. UT fans know it takes teamwork to win. And when you choose Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee, you can get it all. Medical, dental, vision, and wellness from a mission-driven company that has been right here for over 75 years. So you get the simplicity of one card and the peace of mind of one team working together for your health wherever you go. Now that is a huge win. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee. You are listening to the SEC Basketball Tournament on the Fall Network. Been a quiet day for the most part for Tennessee fans here at Bridgestone Arena. As Mississippi State led at halftime 38-19. The Bulldogs built the lead out to 23 at 58-35. Tennessee went on a bit of a run as the Volunteers able to get it down to 12 on a couple of three-point shots by Ziegler. But now D.J. Jeffries has come back and scored five straight. And the Bulldogs have pushed the lead back out to 65-48. And the clock now much of a problem for Tennessee. Only 321 remaining. Bert, the other thing still stunning. Points in the paint. Mississippi yeah. State 40. Tennessee 14. It's amazing. It really is. We've been dominated inside. And State has their game plan. Burn the clock and then go to the bucket with it. Well, you kind of can tell that uh, Coach Barnes is not very happy with the play of Awaka and Adu because 
J.P. Estrella has yeah. played a lot. In fact, played about the last five minutes of the game. Connect goes to the line for Tennessee. He's got 12 points today. By the way, Zakai Ziegler on those two three-pointers has gone over 1,000 points for his Tennessee career. So Tennessee have 5,000-point scores on this team. Connect, one of those to the line. First free throw on the way is good. Four times he was the SEC Player of the Week this year. He now has 13 coming off that brilliant performance against Kentucky where he had 40. But State had a good game plan for him today. And he's really had to work to get all the points he's got. He's got 14 of them now as he hits the second shot. The lead is 15, 65-50 with 3.21 to go. State gets it and bounds to Davis. Davis double teamed in backcourt. Throws it on the other side to Jeffries. And Jeffries will dribble it up. Jeffries comes across the line and hands the ball to Hubbard. Hubbard is trapped at midcourt. Bounces the ball to Jeffries. Jeffries trapped along the sideline. Tennessee reaching in, trying to steal it. Cross-court pass to Davis. Davis thought about a three, but he backs it out. Ten seconds on the shot clock. State wants to run the clock. Pass goes baseline. Reverse layup is good on a nice move by Matthews. He's got 18 points. Matthews, Jeffries have been outstanding. Matthews has 18 points. Best I've ever seen him play. James out to Ziegler. Another three on the way. That's good again. Ziegler continues to bomb away. He's got 20 points. And that's four three-pointers for him. And Tennessee takes a quick timeout. He's keeping us alive. He sure is. Single-handedly. It's 67-53 Mississippi State right now. Let's pause. Ten seconds for station identification. Produced by Learfield. This is the Ball Network. You're home for the balls. 107.7 WIVK-FM, Knoxville. A stimulus media station. WIVK. First of four, the SEC quarterfinals today are at Bridgestone Arena. And Mississippi State trying to win its way into the semifinals. They lead Tennessee 67-53 with 237 remaining in this game. Other games today here in Nashville. Auburn will take on South Carolina next. Then Kentucky will take on Texas A&M and Alabama and Florida. Tennessee keeps the pressure on. Estrella will guard the inbounds. This might be the most minutes that Estrella has played in SEC play all season. Hubbard to bring it in. He run the baseline, gets it inbounds to Jeffries. Jeffries, he's been a press breaker for him, gets it up to Hubbard. Hubbard loops it into front court to Smith. They found him. That's and smart. And Estrella's going to foul him. Stop the clock to put a poor free throw shooter on the line. Estrella picks up his second foul. And for Tennessee, that'll put him stayed into the bonus. But again, you take your chances with Tolu Smith at the line. He's only a 57% free throw shooter. Fires the free throw, and he makes it. That's the way it's been going today for uh, yeah. Mississippi State. Yeah, Tolo Smith's been in the line 133 times this year. They're 12 out of 15. That's yeah. good for them. That's great for them. Second free throw. Smith makes them both. He's got seven. The lead is 69-53. Two and a half minutes to go. Tennessee's got to go quick. Ziegler on the right wing. Gets it out to connect. He's going to bomb a three, and he missed it. Rebound tipped around. It's loose, and it's picked out of there by Hubbard. Hubbard's going to bring it across the line for Mississippi State. Double teamed. And that's not the guy to foul. No. Last guy you want to foul. That'll send Josh Hubbard to the line. Bert, you look at the freshman in this league. Hubbard's right up there. So is Shepard at Kentucky and Dillingham. But these are some dynamic young players. Yeah, they in this really league. are. Excellent guards, freshman guards. Hubbard's really good. Hubbard was 16. Free throw on the way, good. 17 for him. The lead is 17. 213 remaining. Hubbard takes his time. Next one, never a doubt. Right through, he has 18 points. State now leads 71 53. Ziegler penetrates. Kicks it out. James, top of the circle of three. Clanks, no good. And Davis rebounds. 
Tennessee running out of steam and running out of time. Two minutes to go. Jeffries in front court. Drives to the basket. He's going to be fouled going in. Foul is going to be on Dalton Connect. Bert, this is a disappointing way to end this SEC tournament for Tennessee. But this time of the year in postseason, you've got to shake it off. You've got the big dance coming the up. The big dance and, and with hopefully fresh legs after an early exit from the SEC. Jeffrey's at the line. Credit State, their game plan, Chris Jans's game plan, they took Connect out of the game and nobody else could step up today. That's exactly right. They'll let, you know, Connect right. struggled for 14, but... Well, Ziegler stepped up. No, oh, yeah. But Ziegler. other than him... Yeah, but... He didn't step up till late. No, nobody took. Yeah, nobody took up the slack. And Jeffries hits Mississippi State. Would they get good play from Jeffries and Matthews and Davis? They're a handful. They're a handful. Jeffries next one Missed bounces one. off. James rebounds. Seventy-two fifty-three. Mississippi State Ziegler splits a double team. Goes to the basket. Lost the handle. He gets it out to James. James to Meshack. He'll take a three. That's good. Meshack, he's in double figures with 10. And Tennessee's going to take a timeout. So a timeout, Tennessee, with 141 remaining. 72-56 is the lead for Mississippi State. Mississippi State bird has led from the start. Yeah, they have. They, <laughs> they've controlled the game totally. Tempo and everything. Hey, join the Vol Network Monday nights at Calhoun's on the River for Vol Calls. Talk Tennessee basketball with head coaches Rick Barnes and Kelly Harper each week during the season. Vol Calls, the weekly call-in show for the Tennessee Volunteers and Lady Vol. 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Central Time on these Vol Network stations. Lady Balls will find out their fate this week coming up, this weekend coming up, where they'll play in the SEC or NCAA tournament. And, of course, Tennessee will get the word on Sunday night. A lot of times these tournaments, you never know what's going to happen. Like the A-10 yesterday, all four top seeds got eliminated. Yeah. So you never know what's going to happen in these tournaments. No, you but don't. you better be ready to play because you're going up against some really desperate teams. Yeah, that's exactly right. And Mississippi State had a lot more to play for today than we did. Obviously, trying to get in the tournament, we're already in. And they, they played like that. They played like they, they didn't want to go home. And they're 141 away from advancing to the semifinals of this SEC tournament to take on the winner of the Auburn-South Carolina game. And really, Mississippi State has done this without Tolu Smith having a big day. He's only scored seven points today for them. He got them off to a good start. Yes, and he then did. he got foul trouble. Way well, he established the tempo. They were going to go down low yeah. and get the ball to Tolu Smith. It's a Tennessee team that's averaging 80 points a game, held to 56 today. Inbounds pass goes to Smith in backcourt. Smith, double team. And they lost the ball out of bounds as Smith tried to get it to Davis, but he was standing out of bounds. And Tennessee gets it back. They get a stop. Tennessee will have it. Side front court, 137 to go in the game. Ball's down by 16. Ziegler, he's going to launch long, long range. That's an air ball out of bounds. Well, Ziegler's... No, he, he can't waste a lot of time, but that shot was way short from way out front. Ziegler now 4 of 12 from three-point range. Tennessee is a team, 8 of 33. Inbounds pass goes to Matthews. Double teamed in backcourt. And they give the ball to Jeffries. Now to Hubbard. Back to Jeffries and to Matthews. Matthews in front court with 125 remaining. Jeffries on the dribble. They're playing keep away now. Matthews with 119 gives to Hubbard. Right side, Jeffries. Jeffries. Tennessee's not going to foul. Gives to Davis. Davis in the corner. Loops it cross court. Matthews. Matthews with five seconds. Gives to Hubbard. Hubbard's going to drive. Puts up a floater. Rolls off. Smith rebounds. Goes back up. Missed a layup. James gets the rebound with one minute to go. Tennessee down by 16. Connect. Drives to the baseline. Goes strong to the basket. Loops it up there. No good. Estrella tips. No. Ball is loose. And finally Davis gets it. Now the state fans stand and cheer. Tolu Smith going to the basket is going to be fouled by Ziegler. Bert, now it's all about how do you bounce back from this yep. and reset things and get ready for the NCAA tournament. Yeah, we've lost two in a row now. That hasn't been a while. 
Here's Tolu Smith at the line. Seven points today. Smith. It's good. Chris James has always been known as an outstanding defensive coach, and Bert, their game plan today worked to perfection. It really for them. did. They did a great job on connect. Jeffries. Second one. That's bouncing short. Estrella gets the rebound. 73-56. Here's Connect in a hurry. He's going to miss a slam dunk. And Story of the day. Throws his hands up. What do you got to do? Jeffries in front court for State. 30 seconds to go. Jeffries. Jeffries has done a great job handling the ball for State. He really has. Matthews gives to Hubbard. And Jeffries and Matthews have done a great job on Connect. Keeping the ball away from him. 15 seconds to go in the game. Five seconds on the sh shot clock for Mississippi State. Three seconds, two seconds. Davis, free throw line. Just throws the ball behind his back to Smith. They weren't going to take a shot. Tennessee will have it with 6.6 .6 seconds to go. And the Mississippi State Bulldogs have won two straight in this tournament. As they knocked off LSU yesterday, and they're going to knock off the number one seed in 6.6 .6 seconds. And Bertha's this wasn't a fluke. I mean, Mississippi no. State outplayed Tennessee yeah, from the did. start. They, they thumped us pretty good. Ziegler comes to front court. He'll dribble out the clock. And the Mississippi State Bulldogs have pulled off a stunning upset in the quarterfinals of the SEC tournament as the number one seed goes down. As the Mississippi State, in convincing fashion, they hold Tennessee to just 56 points. Mississippi State, led by 19 at halftime, built that lead to 23 points. Tennessee made a run, cut it to 12, but that's as close as they got in the second half. The Mississippi State Bulldogs, their first semifinal appearance in the SEC tournament since 2010. And they do it as they knock off the Tennessee Volunteers today here in Nashville. Final score from Bridgestone Arena, Mississippi State 73, Tennessee 56. It's Big Orange basketball time. And as the official health care provider of the Vols, the University of Tennessee Medical Center is proud to serve you, UT athletes, and Vol fans living in East Tennessee. Like the Vols, we recognize the power of leadership and teamwork to achieve the best results. That's wisdom for your life and wisdom where you live. Visit wisdomnearme.com to find a location near you. At Humana, we believe better care begins with listening, so that's just what we do. We listen to what our members want and work hard to bring you support to help you feel your best. Our Medicare Advantage plans are made to fit a variety of budget and health needs. You'll get personalized help as you explore your options and benefits that go beyond what you might expect. Learn more at GetHumana.com. Humana, a more human way to health care. Humana is a Medicare Advantage organization with a Medicare contract. Enrollment in any Humana plan depends on contract renewal. Ball fans, basketball is heating up at Big Orange Country, and now's the time to march into French's Shoes and Boots for a special giveaway. How would you like to win a new pair of Ariat boots this spring? French's Shoes and Boots, Tennessee's oldest family-owned boot store, and Ariat, America's most trusted boot brand, are teaming up to give away a free pair of Ariat boots a day for 20 days in March. All you have to do is march yourself into one of French's 14 locations across the Volunteer State to register to win. March into French's. What's better than a Tennessee Vols game day? A Big Orange game day with Truly Hard Seltzer. From backyards to box seats, Truly Hard Seltzer's winning blend of refreshing flavor and endless variety will take your game to the next level. At only 100 calories and 22 different flavors, including fan favorites like wild berry and strawberry lemonade, there's something for everyone. No one is just one flavor. Live Truly. Find it near you at trulyhardseltzer.com. Truly Hard Seltzer Beverage Company, Boston, Mass. Please drink responsibly. You're listening to the Tennessee Volunteers in the SEC Basketball Tournament on the Vol Network. Short stay for the Tennessee Volunteers in Nashville at the SEC Tournament as Mississippi State knocks off Tennessee. They sweep the season series. They won in Starkville 77-72. They win today 73-56 over the Tennessee Volunteers. Bob Kessling, Burt Bertelkamp back with you at Bridgestone Arena. For disappointing day, but you got to tip your hat to Mississippi State. They came out with a great defensive game plan, and they executed it, and they just kept Tennessee off balance all day. They really did, Bob. And anytime we made any kind of a run, they made a big shot. 
They did it with uh, a, a true team game. They they shortened the game with their offense, took their time, got the shot they wanted, and they made big shots. I look back, well, we, we cut it to, I think, 12, and yep. Jeffries hits a big three. Then they get a stop and come down and get a two, boom, it's back up to 17. So you got to give them all the credit. They, they And they did a great job on Connect. They did an outstanding job. Tip your hat to D.J. Jeffries and Matthews. They fronted him everywhere. And, and Connect wound up today with 14, but he worked for him. He was 4 of 17 from the field. Yeah, and, and one of his shots was just a th- throw-in, you know, a <laughs> bank shot. Yeah, that really was deflected. But, this still but their out. defense was outstanding on him and the rest of our team. I mean, they beat us 42-14 in the paint. Yeah. 18 points for Matthews, 18 points for Hubbard, the leading scorers for the Bulldogs for Tennessee Connect. Had 14, Ziegler had 20, and Meshack had 10. Adu also had 10 rebounds in the game. It's time to announce the Advance Auto Parts player of the game. Bert, I guess this one goes to Zakai Ziegler. Yep, Ziegler had 20 points. He tried to keep us in the game, but too little, too late. One stat, though, that, that does pop up, Ziegler only had two assists. And it's hard for us to win when he doesn't have more assists than that. That means they've cut him off and kept him out of the paint. But he fought hard. He did. And it's hard for any team, really, to win in a postseason game when they only shoot 31%. Yeah, and that's what Tennessee did today. Congratulations, though, to Zakai Ziegler, our Advance Auto Parts player of the game. With Advance Auto Parts, you get the part you need from the comfort of your garage. Order online with Advance Same Day and get your part with Same Day Delivery or in-store pickup. Advance your auto at Advance Auto Parts. Well, Tennessee now will head home, and the Volunteers will wait till this weekend to find out where they'll be going in the NCAA tournament. But Tennessee has to try and rebuild some momentum as State led from the opening tip, and they go on to beat Tennessee today here at the SEC tournament in convincing style, 73-56. We now invite you to stay tuned for our post-game programming for Burt Bertelkamp. I'm Bob Kessling. Final score from Nashville, Mississippi State 73, Tennessee 56. Stay tuned now for the Big Orange Scoreboard and the Rick Barnes Show coming up next here on the Vaughn Network. I'll always remember our family vacations in the beautiful Smoky Mountains. We'd rent a cabin, Dad would take us hiking, whitewater rafting, or horseback riding. I really enjoy making this tradition a part of my children's lives. With over 1,500 cabins, campgrounds, and bed and breakfast to choose from, Visit My Smokies is the only site you need to plan your Smoky Mountain getaway. Visit MySmokies.com. Come home to the Smokies and make vacation memories that will last a lifetime. TAE is Tennessee Associated Electric, providing innovative solutions for projects and building needs since 1929. Electrical services for manufacturing, government, hospitals, utilities, airports, railroads, as well as Thompson Bowling Arena, where the Vols play. TAE has skilled craftsmen responding to customer needs with the resources and expertise to handle any project. TAE is committed to customer satisfaction. Tennessee Associated Electric. Visit us at tn-associated.com. Hey, Vol fans, this is Jonas Adu. If you can't make it out to the game, you can always watch us at Fieldhouse Social. With good food, old beer, and one of the biggest big screens I've ever seen. <laughs> and I know big. Fieldhouse Social, just off campus at the University of Tennessee. Sports fans and foodies alike can enjoy a selection of 40 beers on tap and a delicious selection of menu items, all while cheering on the Vols. Catch Vol basketball at Fieldhouse Social. Fieldhouse Social. Tennessee Sports Bar, University Commons, right off the Cumberland Strip. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota, like a new electrified hybrid Toyota, with more hybrid EV choices than anybody else, including hybrid versions of the best-selling Camry, the best-selling RAV4, the all-new Grand Highlander, and the powerful new Tundra. Now through April 1st, get low-rate financing, special leases, or customer cash, depending on model. Plus, every new Toyota comes with two years no-cost maintenance. Get details at toyota.com. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. 107.7 WIVK. Listen live at WIVK.com. You're listening to the Big Orange Scoreboard and the Rick Barnes Show on the Vol Network. A complete wrap-up of today's game featuring final statistics, an exclusive interview with Tennessee head coach Rick Barnes, along with scores and updates on college basketball from around the SEC and the country. With your hosts, Bob Kessling, former Vol Burt Bertelkamp, John Wilkerson, and Tennessee head coach Rick Barnes. Sponsored by Eastman, reminding you 
that good sports always give back. Buy Advance Auto Parts. Advance your auto at Advance Auto Parts. Buy Delta Dental of Tennessee. Now offers Delta Vision plans. Learn more about how you can protect your eyes and smile at DeltaDentalTN.com. Buy the Tennessee Fund. Join the My All campaign today at IWillGiveMyAll.com. And buy Truly Hard Seltzer. Light, crisp, and crushable. Live Truly. Distributed across Tennessee by Cherokee Distributing. Back in 30 seconds. Tennessee basketball is brought to you by the Rusty Wallace family of dealerships. Hyundai, Kia, Nissan, Ford, Honda, Chevrolet, and Toyota. In Richmond Federal Credit Union. Your volunteer Buick GMC dealers. Visit My Smokies. Swaggerty's Farm Sausage. Union Place Bar and Grill. The Tennessee Highway Safety Office. East Tennessee Children's Hospital. Lazy Days RV and professional jewelers. An early exit for the top seed as the regular season champs fall in the quarterfinal round of the SEC tournament in Nashville. Welcome to the Big Orange Scoreboard and Coach Rick Barnes show. I'm John Wilkerson at the Big Orange Scoreboard. 73-56 the final. Mississippi State led by 19 at the half. Tennessee managed to cut it down to 12 at one point, but never could get on track enough to, uh, to really cut into the deficit. Uh, Tennessee outscores the Bulldogs by two in the second half, which allows Mississippi State to advance to the semifinals for the first time since 2009 in the SEC tournament with the 73-56 to win. Tennessee shot 31% from the field for the game, uh, including eight of 33 from three-point range. Mississippi State, 55% from the field, uh, made four three-point shot simply for the fact they didn't have to do a whole lot of that. Uh, even though Tennessee out-rebounded Mississippi State, you saw uh, a great disparity in terms of points in the paint. Other advantages, uh, Mississippi State outscores Tennessee 42-14 to when it comes to points in the paint, and that just added to a long, long afternoon. Nine steals for the Bulldogs against eight for Tennessee, two blocks for Mississippi State, and Mississippi State Mississippi State almost 2-1 to one in terms of fast break points to what Tennessee generated 11 points to 6. So game 1 concluded for the SEC tournament and the quarterfinal round. And up next, it'll be the second game, and that is the four-seed Auburn taking on the five-seed South Carolina. Gamecocks lost at Auburn by 40 points in their only matchup in the regular season, 101-61. to 61. So Auburn uh, trying to punch its ticket to the semifinals. The Gamecocks trying to follow up on yesterday's game in which South Carolina eliminated Arkansas. Tonight, the session will be the two-seed Kentucky taking on the seven-seed Texas A&M. The Aggies got the only season meeting against the Wildcats earlier this year. And Alabama, the five, the three-seed, the three-seed Crimson Tide meets the six-seed Florida. Uh, Aggies yesterday eliminated Ole Miss. Uh, Florida uh, eliminated Georgia. So Florida and Alabama, they get to play the rubber match. Each team won on its home floor. Florida won last week rather convincingly by about 17 down in Gainesville. So that's how it shapes up in terms of the rest of the quarterfinals at the SEC tournament in Nashville. And the weekend will go on without the regular season champs as Tennessee today falls to Mississippi State. Final score, 73-56. For over 50 years, we've been telling you about the advantages of